Hey guys, I got a message from our friends over at Canadoc.ca. Canadoc believes that if you're going to consume cannabis, you should do it responsibly. And I'm all for it too. If you head over to Canadoc.ca, they will put you in contact with medical cannabis experts that can help you get your medical cannabis cart. A license, like I like to call it, Poseidon. Um, get that card. It's completely confidential. No one will know. It doesn't. Your job isn't going to know. Uh, it doesn't affect your Medicare. It doesn't affect anything. No loans. No one knows except for you. So get that. And then that gives you access to all kinds of companies, the best companies that will grant you edibles, drops, live resin, vape pens, um, these fucking delicious cookies, all kinds of cool stuff that they have on this. I'm a, more of a CBD guy. I use the CBD drops. And if you're a veteran, your stuff's free. All the companies that they put you in contact with, they collect uh, on the back end and they just ship you your stuff. If you're a veteran, I think Blue Cross pays for it. So there's no reason really if you're consuming cannabis to not do it responsibly. Go to the experts, get someone to talk to you, get your card. They'll give you a prescription on what they believe you should be taking. And then get the best quality stuff, stuff that you can't normally get in Quebec. Products that are over 30% THC. So far, the people that have used it, us and the fans are really happy with it. I just made a new order this morning. It was mostly for CBZ drops for my dog, um, but I like it. So canadoc.ca. Consume responsibly. Go to the experts. Thank you. I take you for a ride on the devil's ship. I take you for a ride where you see ghosts swim. Now come with me and let this story begin. Are we live? Are we recording? All right. This is a very interesting podcast. We have Sarah Quinn. Hey. Michelle Forrester. Hi. And the notorious Guido the Grass Grasso. How am I awake this early? <laughs> this is this is a mixture. This is a mi of the like Pantel's comedy ladies and the uh, Pantel's comedy degenerates. Whores, Pantel's. Yeah. Not like uh, now, now. Yeah, at one p.m. we're ladies, but after a set, after we're, seven yeah. p.m. <laughs> you're a bunch of whores. Uh This is a nice little cross of the intellectuals. Yes, we're yes. Be be smart. What have you ever, uh, ladies? Yes, uh, you've been through it. You've dealt with some crazy stuff on this scene. Yeah. Nothing compares to sitting through a podcast with Guido Grasso. I'm telling you this right now. Okay. Uh, well, now now he's building it up now. Oh, my God. I better say something outrageous. I was at home censor. Sign, sign, cut the stream. <laughs> 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 you, did you really go to home sense? I went to home sense because uh, it is uh, uh, Mother's Day is coming up. Yeah. It is. And God knows I have to. <laughs> by For your baby love, mama, the love of uh, uh, her love back because I, I I'm not sure if you know this, Pantelis, but I went through a little something and I was I was acting a little weird for a little while. Yeah, you uh, threatened to kill yourself and no, other people, and then no, we found no. you in a crack house. That's hearsay. Hearsay. <laughs> According to the detectives, that's what they say. That's <laughs> the what detectives, detectives say. That were right out that door. Oh my god! So I was at home. Sure. We're but not making anything up. The detectives called us. Buying uh, a. I, I believe it. By the way. Uh, the detective was a fan of the podcast, yes. and so was the cop that found you. How crazy is that? Right, you guys are not. I am not Marcus. kidding. Wow. The detective on the phone was the funniest because he was dropping hints that he listened to the podcast. I'm talking about you. Yeah, and I was yeah, like, really is, this a, is this a parody or not? You know, he's like, oh, do you know where he is? I go, I don't know where yeah. he is, but what I could tell you is, I heard that he's frequenting a crack house. That's all I can tell you. And then not, they, he calls me an hour later. He's like, thank you for your help. We found him. That's a good marketing technique. Yeah. Like, next time I get depressed, I will make sure I'll come here uh, and. Yeah. Cause a scene and see the what happens. The cops that found yeah. them said that they like the podcast. I'll bring you to the crack house. Okay. I, um, yeah. So I was at home sense, uh, buying scented candles because if you should give her the Dollarama ones, it's, it's she's going to know. So, um, nice, very nice. And I, uh, it, 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 it occurred to me if, you know, when you and your, your friends complain about, no, I don't know where to meet girls, man. I don't know. I can never meet a whip. The crack oh, house. No, no. <laughs> that too. She mails. But, um, he was buying his, his weed from a transsexual. Hooker, Allegedly. But only buying weed. He was Allegedly. doing it. Why would you go to a crack house to buy weed? You could yeah. just go was, to the SQDC. It was 3, 3.30 in the morning. The life, uh, the life uh, he lives uh, is is uh, the best lived, comedy uh, writers past, on the planet cannot come up cannot with come. fake scenarios that go him. close to what he's actually living. I um, uh, So... A lot of beautiful women. Uh, you can ask in, him anything. It's an open book. Nice dude. No, no, great place to meet women. In home sense. Home sense. Yeah, but they're normally uh, married, no? Yeah, the daytime they have board, their shit together. board wives, maybe. You know, I don't know. Whatever. If they give you the eyes, uh, another. The yeah, ugh. Super, yeah. <laughs> the ugh they eyes. roll their eyes. The roll, yeah, I, I noticed that. They're linen chest. Great place to meet women. You know, 
Um, where what are what you? What time are you going? Like what time no, of the day? Right are you now, like now, uh, oh, like half oh, like hour ago. Today, today. During the day. And the only reason, yeah, so I you're didn't... just bumping into housewives. Yeah, yeah. It, it, His strategy it, is bored housewives. Yeah, it's bored uh, housewives. it's uh, because also I was be I was shopping for the restaurant uh, the other day, and I was at a um, a wholesaler Italian wholesaler in the East End, uh, um, and there as well I saw. Except you could tell she was an Italian housewife because she was like. No, me, I told her uh, on her phone, you know, with her accent. Isn't this interesting about the Italians in Montreal? They grew up here. They got the same education as everyone else. But when they speak, it's like they it's, were homeschooled <laughs> by uh, mongoloids. By, why by, is that? By uh, monks. Why is that, though? English uh, or French, I'll they, ta- they butcher both languages. I'll tell you exactly because I've looked into it. Because they don't speak. Have you noticed? I don't. I don't know how much time you've spent with real lot, like a whole group of Italians in Montreal. They don't sound like they're from Jersey. Mm. No, Montreal okay. has its own Italian accent. Me, you, bro. Me, I tell him. I told the guy. You, you have yeah. to shut up. You know. <laughs> yeah, I think and, in Montreal, a lot of accents are kind of merged with. It's the because French. of the French, correct? No. And so that is get, the answer. Like, you get like a mold. Now you get, there's mold. One. There's mold everywhere. Mold now, everywhere. Uh, uh, <laughs> Italian immigrants and uh, with the Greeks as well. Uh, but not as much uh, because you kept the language. Uh, we went to English school growing up, the kids of Italians. We went to yeah. French. Okay, so we went to a mostly Wait, English. how did you do that? Up till 1983. Okay. Uh, uh, in 1983, that law passed where, say, if you're an immigrant kid, you got to go. Before, the right. Montreal School Commission used to be the Catholic School Commission. Right. Jesus said. And uh, so <laughs> kids would go to school in English. And uh, parents would go work in French, in factories where we are right now. Um, this neighborhood. This neighborhood. And so at home, they would keep the Italian language and the French influence in. Like, for example, uh, every, uh, if, uh, we will start sentences here with, ma, you, but you, because en français, mais toi, le... Is that where it comes from? That's the where ma- it comes from. The ma- it comes from, F- uh, absolutely, French influence. Where is the way? <laughs> come from where is that getting it in the head of too many times <laughs> a few times yeah yeah but italians now moved they're not in the east anymore they've gone to laval now do you yeah. notice because you're half montreal half toronto now living yeah i don't know how often uh, you go to ontario uh, uh, i mean i was living there for a lot of the pandemic yeah. but do you guys what? like the toronto man's accent i hate that but it's, it's entertaining uh, I, d- I don't like a canadian accent at all oh, it, it, like any province but what uh, what is the toronto accent exactly you know the toronto man's accent yeah well that's like oftentimes the toronto accent is kind of people mistake it for the scarborough accent so yes and scarborough, so scarborough is like its own thing and that's where the i'm pretty sure that's where like the man's that's, that's and the, how mike Myers and got adding zeds where you shouldn't have them it comes in what about let's Bare smoke females, scarborough man. is definitely like the coolest part of toronto and then yeah. i think people wow. like pick from it because it's got that, so much that's who, happening. Who, 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 I, used to, I lived in Toronto, but like <laughs> 15 years ago, and it was not. So it's Scarborough. Cool. Like, no, yeah, it's, like, where the, it's, it's well, the Park X of the Toronto. Oh, yeah, 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 I know yeah, that's where Mike is. Myers is from. Yeah, that's what I know. Like, it's, it's the Park X. You're right. It yeah. is. It, and it's it's half okay. really well off, half not. And it's, they kind they kind of sit in the middle. But so many so much talent has like come out of Scarborough that I think that's people okay. are like. Drake. Yeah. It's like the biggest Drake crush. Was Drake like Forest Hill. It, like the, the Drake. very real. I saw Drake's house. I don't know if Drake's house. No, he's, he's, he's from Forest Hill, which is like a very, very it's rich Luke. suburb in yeah. kind of oh. central Toronto. Yeah, yeah. Forest Hill's I'm more of a weekend, weekend guy. The weekend is Scarborough, It's like Westmount. It would be like being yeah. from Westmount. It's like okay, a very that's not, that's Jewish, too affluent. Yeah. like affluent neighborhood of, of Toronto. like and, and central, just like a little north of, of mm-hmm. the downtown core. I love the weekend. And he was legitimately on the streets. He was homeless. Okay. Oh, he's the, he's the real story. He's the real yeah. deal. Yeah, 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 he is. He's the story that Drake raps about. You know what yeah, I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Is that yeah. why he doesn't know how to spell weekend? Because he <laughs> was he educated, or is that? I don't, do you want to know why? Well, yeah, I do want to. know. I will why. tell you why. I, I never knew why. I, he dropped his e. I'll tell you why. Because when he started out and he was known as the weekend when he was initially doing shows, they found out online there was another band. That had the name the weekend. Oh, oh. yes, I actually think I do so know that. The e. And they're like a. Some like Swedish, like, some weird bands. Vibe. Okay, it's not. It's not really like the, weekend. the weekend. No, they're like <sighs> anyway. Like weird not. for my standards. Yeah, like, I don't weird like, for your standards. Okay, for what, sure. are, what are your standards? <laughs> I like the weekend. You like okay <laughs> with no e. With no e. <laughs> I don't know about these other people. These weekday people. That's like Michael <laughs> J. Fox not being able to use the name Michael Fox because was oh, already yeah. registered with SAG, so he had to be Michael J. Fox. So that's the same kind of thing with the weekend. Same kind of thing. He wants to continue. Sounds better though. Yeah. Well, he's lucky about that. Yeah, he's, yeah, yeah, he's a lucky guy, bro. Yeah. In fact, his uh, his biography is called Lucky Man. 
Really? Yeah. Is it legible? I don't read. I feel like he was kind of unlucky. <laughs> that that that's like the Lou Gehrig thing where he's yeah. like, I'm the luckiest man yeah. in the world. And On the, like, that infamous speech. Yeah, yeah. yeah, it's like, no, neither of you are very lucky. He's yeah. got a nice documentary, uh, like well-made. I saw the trailer, really enjoyed it. Came out now. Michael J. Fox? Michael J. Fox. Okay. Shaky Cam. I like, like uh, you watched the trailer, you read the title of the book, but you- Was it a Brockheimer film? I don't have patience to watch things. You didn't look into any of it. Yeah, you were like, I, I just need to know- yeah. Yeah. Just the tabloids. You read the but cover. Give me, give me, the, uh, the, uh, <laughs> give me the cliff notes, the co- or Canadian Coles notes. Coles notes. Yeah. Coles notes. Coles notes. Is that Canadian? Yeah, Coles oh, notes because like Coles bookstore. bookstore. Yeah. Remember you would buy Coles yeah, notes I, to cheat? And yeah. in the States, it's called cliff notes. Cliff yeah, notes. I say cliff notes. Fun fact. It's, uh, actually, Canadian is Coles notes. I don't know well, what Coles notes is. It's called ChatGPT. The yellow book. I wondered about that. Will they make like movies? Like if you can you say give me a brand new Dave Chappelle special? Will yes, it, will it, yes, it'll make I, you write I a script. Tried. Oh yeah, yeah, I think you I, can. Wow. Yeah, I tried with another a female comic. We were talking about this, and we ch- put in the uh, a prompt that was like write um, a joke in the style of Bill Burr about wow. getting his first period, and like they wrote it out, and they really like honestly, if you read it, you could hear like you could hear Bill Burr's voice. voice. Like it was pretty scary. good. Poseidon well, tried that. He was trying to write new jokes. He How? goes write a funny joke about society <laughs> in the voice of Pantalus, and it was just uh-huh. the N word uh-huh. repeatedly. Uh-huh. <laughs> he's, and he's like, like <laughs> I can't use this. He's like, write I can't a make joke it funny. In any style but my own <laughs> speaking of yeah cliff notes cole's notes chat gpt the teachers are not prepared they are going to get bombarded for a decade all the cheating, from yeah. the kids yeah because yeah. they won't be able you're to not going to know who's smart enough they're well, all going to be your, your i don't think it's cheating i don't think it's how, cheating. how is it's, it's they're, a they're tool learning, they're hold on, learning hold on. but if, they're, if, if it's you have to write an essay paper for you if you have to write an essay and you're like fuck it you're like write an essay about the civil war in the style of uh michelle forrester go I agree. And and for sure, like, there's also, like, programs that can flag for it. And also, uh, they've said yeah. it, like, e- even Elon has said, or whatever the company he owns has anti, said that, like, uh, what they write out, what they, what it comes out of it is, like, that of a B, like, a B-minus student. So it's never, like, anything crazy. I think teachers should embrace it and teach them how to use it properly. Like, you know, like, it's That's a good I mean. it's They a good have to evolve point. with it. It's never yeah. been invented. So yeah. teachers but, don't aren't prepared so, so you're saying evolve. like have the thing write the paper for you and then edit like change no, it. no I, I don't really know what it does like i i'm not the i would say like with it's, technology <laughs> it's, <laughs> it's good to to like if you were to input it for an essay and like for like uh like argument structure you know what i mean like teaching the kids how to use it in a, in a way where they can then because sometimes for some people it's really hard to start like for me it's really hard to start so if i put something in and it's garbage then i can go in and edit and i think you do still learn as you go I, I'm, it's just a tool. I'm not worried about yeah. ChatGPT itself. What I am worried about is the fact that it's understanding so well. Because I was testing out, mm-hmm. and it's weird how much it, it knows and how quick. Quickly, yeah. What if everything's automated? Let's say um, we, you know, have, we have these robots. I don't know if you've seen these robots that you could fight, and these robots that are in the military. Transformers. Yeah, they're dude. They're super cool. They're like super. Yeah. Now those are not handmade. Those are made in a factory. They get the metal, they, yeah. so they don't really need people. Assembly now, line. Im- yeah, and an assembly line. Just imagine, it gets smart enough, it connects, it's on the internet, and the consciousness decides, well, I don't need humans. I yeah. could just create, I could reproduce as much as I want, create myself. more of yeah. myself. The world, I'm going to take it over. Why would I listen to these fucking meat bags, right? All it needs is that one little click, and we're fucked because everything's automated, and they'll be in control. Where it crosses How are we going to fight karate? Yeah. Isn't I, there I a kung fu robot? Cut know. off switch? It's not that. Like a, a cut off switch of some yet. kind? It's, it's not there yet. I'm saying it could get there because it's the second it realizes what's going on, yeah. we're fucked. But That's it, what it Stephen only, only gets there if we like rely on it to that degree. If you know what I mean? If we allow our society to be built upon just those structures. But like, we are. Many people don't even know the most yeah. important phone numbers in their phone because it's automated. Yeah. You just have the it's mom. For sure. For yeah. sure. What, Wendy wheelchair. Yeah. I mean, kids don't even know. Yeah. How, I said this last time. Kids don't even know how to tell time. Like I'm TAing for a group of kids that grew up, I think. I'm sorry, what they is were, TA? I'm teacher's a assistant. teacher's assistant. Oh, okay. Yeah, and like they're talking about how they don't know how to tell analog time because they. She's embroiled in numerous oh, sex uh, yeah, scandals. This, this stuff fa- fascinates me. I, the fact yeah. that things that they, they don't know, and they don't need to do know. mental math. Also, they don't know their timetables. Yeah. They don't learn that stuff. And anymore you don't because teach you don't them? need it because they have. 
they can just get. But they the don't. Answers. Besides, you can tell but time. Can they write? Cur- like, can, yeah, can they do cursive? cursive and yeah. no like, cursive is is out is outlawed. There's no more cursive. Outlawed. Yeah, they're outlawed. not teaching. <laughs> I'm not against that. I'll tell you. I like how allowed to do cursive. It's so nice. I like how cursive looks, but I will say it makes sense that it's not like not outlawed, but they don't use it because. Yeah. I'm, when I was sm- when I was young in elementary, they would make us learn cursive and me do too. it, but me it wasn't too. used anywhere, and it used to piss me off. Yeah. Everything available is not cursive. These we're, we're using block letters in real life, but you want me to fucking learn this shit? Yeah, yeah. Do, I don't know what the why were we? Why did we? Yeah, because how I'll many times you do you like? Because oh, the in case we gotta read some kind of interrupt. old document yeah, about the Declaration of Independence. How many times you like fill out an important fo- form and they're like explicitly do not write in cursive? Yeah, yeah. Write it print. I love it. I love it. I like that I learned it. But what I mean is, you may you remember? I don't know uh, your textbooks, but my textbooks in elementary school were. 1952, first edition. You know how they, poor we were, bro. They, no, well, my they, textbooks were missing pages. Say, yeah. You remember in the library books, they would be Just signed. Be like dips, you'd be like, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. My, in so the, many cocks, bro. In the, in, in the most random but classes. That's what I mean. What year were the books from? They were from an old system of an yeah. old uh, yeah. curriculum. Yeah. I remember having like uh, the end of the book, it'd be like, oh, wow, my friend's older brother had this book in yeah. 1986. Yeah. The, there was that. a book I remember in, um, not science, physics, science de la nature, in sec one, mm-hmm. science of nature, That's, where yeah, in the like back, natural sciences, natural yeah. sciences yeah. in the back, it was like the history of like the school, like the, the fights between the races. Oh, and wow. And I remember like in this year, and this happened, the Lebanese fought the Greeks okay, here. Like and a this student and that, wrote it. Yeah, it That's was brilliant. all the, the histories. And I was like, this is badass, yeah. <laughs> uh, I remember, I remember. And, and the that, UN that school fighting. used to compete to spray paint the year of the graduating class in the schoolyard. You don't remember that? I think uh, it was before your time. Uh, I was gonna. Did you guys go to the same school? No, no. but I okay. lived. No, the guy's down fucking the seventy years old. I went to a fucking Harry Potter school or something. What? That's okay. where the time. Oh, like a boarding school in West Mountain shit. Oh, and wow. it's. Uh, I went Centennial. It's not. Anyway. Oh, I know Centennial. It looked, yeah, now it's yeah. special needs. But at the time, Adam was. Is it special needs? Now it's special needs. Because they Adam? didn't catch Adam. Did, how did they not catch Adam? They didn't because it was the nineties. You explained this to me oh, because yeah. they didn't teach they didn't us know. autism in so, in the nineties. Yeah, of course not. I know autists now. But it's true. When I was growing up, my you, generation you, didn't know. We yeah, know you, liquid paper. Well, now they diagnose everybody with autism. It's like if you get to a certain age and you haven't done anything with your life, you either have yeah. to be autistic or non-binary, and you need something to put non-binary. In but every, everything is binary, or, uh, or else a, we wouldn't a, exist. I hate a, that. ADHD. They, ADHD. I, yeah. No, I literally got diagnosed with ADHD, and and I didn't. That I kind of always assumed I had, and I didn't go through any sort of testing procedure. But my therapist was like, "I think you're on the spectrum." I'm like, "I'm just everyone's a girl. On I'm the- just a girl who's good at math and bad at eye." contact I, but everybody's on it's like i feel like he was like I you're tell going through a hard okay, time well, i need to give you something to make you more interesting and i'm like i it's okay by the way, therapists but are hard to find i could tell yeah, you could I tell i can't get autism. mine to diagnose me yeah, with adhd I, and i know i am i know no, you're not. Yeah. everyone right now we're so overstimulated i do know i have ADHD. Yeah. Like adhd yeah, makes everybody sense for in me the world and is becoming overstimulated for sure for sure for sure yeah. not, i just went to a treatment that's what my therapist for that's why she won't diagnose me i went to a treatment center for uh i'll call them and uh 90 of the patients in this place in in vancouver uh were on adhd drugs prescribed to them by the top psychiatrist yeah. so there's like some kind of a uh uh what am i trying to say a between connection. A connection there's a huge link, a link uh, between all that i'm yeah. not gonna go full tom cruise but <laughs> yeah i i 100 believe we're over medicating kids yeah, yeah. like well, you said ADHD mm-hmm. was underdiagnosed in girls for the longest time. Yeah, when I was a kid, you were diagnosed in, in boys. Yeah, yeah, that's like I and it projects. She's just a yappy little bitch. Yeah, yeah. like I, I was, yeah. I did well, well in school, and I was very quiet. But I was in my own. Ha- I was daydreaming. My room was a mess. I would be up all night. Like yep. it would take me. Yeah, me I would leave everything until the last minute, even though I, I was a nerd and I liked school and I wanted to do well, but I couldn't sit down. Like what you're saying, I can't sit yeah. down and start. Fucking nerd. It, it's like yeah. I would be writing yeah. a paper in my head for a month and then the night before midnight okay yeah. i'm up all night and I, I was always and still am a crammer night before guy. yeah yeah i can and i don't want to be that way i hate it I've about myself stand up like that writing jokes the night before the night before yeah. i write i have an idea and i'm like i hope this works on stage and then yeah half the time i just chicken out and don't do it but i can't sit down it's very hard for me to sit down and focus but what? you sorry know, i wasn't like, listening <laughs> ADHD. not because not because you have adhd about? but because i'm a woman that's <laughs> yeah. why you didn't know yeah. um i'm on yeah. adhd drugs 
Uh, what, what do you? I'm on Vivance. What do you? I, I'm on, he's on heroin. Most meth. people are on meth. Vivance. Yeah, no, it's, but I, yeah, um, it's meth. It's, it act, technically is. It's, it's technically. So sad. Well, it's mescaline. It's, no, I'm on. It's Dex, a little bit different. Dex, Dex, but, Dex, Dexedrine. Okay. Like, it's the original. Vivance is the cousin of this. Vivant, you can't, yeah, you, you can't, can't crush up Vivance no. and snort it. And they don't on, have off-brand Vivance. Is everyone so on drugs on this podcast? And, and, uh, I took bupropion this morning. I take it as well with my Dexedrine. Is that is that what's called? Is that the is that well Been around that, since yeah, the sixties. Yeah, yeah, um, yeah, exactly. Uh, it's stop amazing. smoking aid. It's a stop smoking aid. Oh no way! It's also yeah. It's, it's also an antidepressant. It's an antidepressant. They prescribe it for weight loss as well. Do yours also. look uh, like you could dip them in water, like grape Kool Aid, or are they the white ones? No, I get the little white ones with okay, the L. They have an L on them. Oh my god! And every morning Pills. I look at it and look I go, at "You're a loser," look at, look at and I take the pill. Face. <laughs> do you have to take it? I have to take it. Why? What happens I if you don't? I have to take it. Uh, yeah. well, even I didn't take it and I'm like something crazy happened this week and I'm like completely like shook from it. And I, I there, def- there I are people who need like I, I need it. Yeah, there. But I do. I do I'm, I'm going to wean off of it eventually. But yeah, I'm going to uh, uh, I'm just uh, take uh, it for fun. say uh, something for Pantels right now. If I need it and I know I need it, but if I maybe never started them in the first place. I would prefer that. Yeah. And I probably would have never needed them in the future. But you remember me on friggin' lithium and shit and all this garbage yeah, yeah, yeah. they gave me? It was eating oh, batteries. Oh, shit. Well, yeah, lithium there needs is... to be like more of a focus on like CBT, which is like cognitive behavioral training. Yes. On like how to but get yourself they're hard out of to it. find. And I'm waiting. I'm on. Have you done, heard of. Uh, well, they're just called? techniques, right? Hakomi or EMDR? Uh, no, I haven't. Okay, heard of that's other. St- yeah, they're they're I've eye movement the, the, desensitization. Yeah, like and ha- ha- Hakomi has to do with mindfulness. Yeah, okay. probably. Uh, so it, they're all part of this, and they're hard to find. These pre- Vancouver, they're all about this stuff. Here. Vancouver, yeah. but the whole they're I don't like that because that. that whole city's fucking drugged know, up, and they, they have problems. a whole skid row there. That's so sad. Yeah. So uh, it's amazing now the 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 dichotomy. Nice word. Uh, between I, I don't like. I'm telling you this. There's no way this is good. I see it happening yeah. all across the U.S. There's no way we keep throwing drugs at the problem. Yeah. It's gonna make it I, I had to quit. I want to talk about why kids are depressed. I had to quit. Why we're all yeah. anxious. Well, that's yeah. what you want about we, cognitive we, behavior. We, we all know what, it's. I mean, it's it's our, our parents and then their parents and it, I, every generation it gets worse and it's usually like like it's, it'll be interesting because our kids. We went through the pandemic and I think the pandemic kind of like messed people's brains up a little bit in the same way that like the war would in the same way that you're, you know, the men that went to war and came back, a lot of them. Passed, like passed on like their trauma to uh, their children grandpa who are is unaffectionate right grandpa's an it. alcoholic yeah, in exactly. my house we never said i love you to each other well, that's very common there's yeah. so Actually, much they, they, they so said in your house they said it to each other just, <laughs> just, just, just they to refuse you. to lie to yeah. you <laughs> no but it's very common but, with immigrant kids and war yeah. war uh, people you're yeah. right yeah, and w- with the pandemic too, like so, this is what my well, I barely have a day job, but what my <laughs> what my PhD research was in. So I'm a social psychologist and oh and God. studying like attachment and belonging. And there's so much research that shows just like being alone is as bad for your health as smoking a pack of cigarettes a day. So that's like if you're a kid and you're bullied and you got peer pressured into smoking and you're like, no, nah, I'm not going to do it. Well, you've just also made an unhealthy decision if now you're excluded by the oh group. I'm not God. advocating for so smoking. I should have just smoked. But, yeah, but like then the like pandemic, cool we're all... I do you think know, more isolation is the a problem. Isolation fucks isolation. people up, and I still feel like I, yeah. I still like I'm not the most. I'm a little socially awkward anyway, but I can tell that the way I communicate with people or my personality, it feels different now. Yeah, of course. And I can't. It's like I whatever social skills I learned. I've lost them and I'm trying to get them yeah, back. Absolutely. But, for sure. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. You, you used to see uh, uh, kids, you know, I, I uh, coming home from school. <laughs> yeah, I used to see kids. It's, okay, I, get, I get where you're going. Shut up. Sorry. Uh, <laughs> did, I, I used to see kids. Did, uh, did walk, tell us this joke No, because him, I already, exactly. I, already yeah, did, I didn't say anything. Because I said, I watch kids coming home from school. And we I know you like, watch kids. It's yeah, fine. Yeah, we yeah. We so, know, I don't know But the that parents well. never <laughs> see him coming back after they, I'm they, done with uh, it. Uh, kids talking to each other, playing with a stick, walking home from school. And now you'll see a brother and sister kid walking home from school, both staring at their phone, not talking yeah, to each other. Yeah, of course. Yeah. So yeah, it has changed. We have changed. It's, yeah. And then you uh, feel like, especially when you're isolated, you need that like hit of dopamine suit, but it's artificial. You're going on your phone and then it's sometimes it's oh, upsetting to dopamine. Like, what I do is I play slot machines with a lot of money and then, you know, <laughs> it's, a, it's a dopamine yourself. pump that right, works. Yeah. Okay. Um, Note to um, solve. In, in, uh, you know, the blue slots. zones where they live past a hundred around the world. Greece. Oh yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Ikaria, so in, yeah. in Ikaria, Greece, uh, what they notice opposite of isolation 
The old people, 92 years old, they have, you know, the feast in the center of town and they're partying with everybody. Yeah. 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 Or like a lot of the happiest countries in the world are, are not countries Beverly that Hills. they're not they're <laughs> yeah. rich country they're yeah. co- they're collectivists they're yeah. where people yeah. are part of the community yeah. they're close mm-hmm. with their family yeah yeah Oops. we are highly individualist yeah I, uh, part uh, of the world Tom Hanks talked to a I'm volleyball building a cult. because what of are you that? talking about We're exactly. yeah. Yeah. no this is like the happiest I've been I'm waiting for something bad to happen this is the happiest I've been in maybe ever because it's like we finally feel like there's a community here like yeah. with the comics is and important for me it's, yeah. it's, that's teams it's what we do it's all different hats it's religions we, we, we want to belong gang. Uh, gang, gang. on facebook you know 10 years ago when everybody was arguing with each other all the time yeah, yeah. it was because i belong on this team you belong on that team it's it's so red and, red com- state, yeah, yeah. and in comedy it's like the funniest thing to me like like the like the feuds i'm not talking about anybody personally this is like all comics but like just the, it's like oh this group of comics isn't like this group of comics mm. it's like the nerdiest most depressing yeah. Yeah, gang it's wars it's just uh, like yeah, ner- sad yeah. like the alcoholics it hating each other and it's it like is. these people probably it's didn't like, have guys, we're all school. the same yeah. we're we all, all friends, we all didn't have friends growing up we all have yeah. an attachment yeah. disorder we all have chronic anxiety we should just get along the only but, thing yeah. of that that i have is the anxiety I okay yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, that's why you're successful i was like i also had friends okay you guys are cool I was hot in high school. Okay. No, my friends I, were all retards. I, high school That's was so better funny. for me because I would just like do everybody's math homework. I'd be like, I'll help you with it. But like, I, so I what is it about comedians? We want validation. We want, I, well, yeah, obviously. I want people to validate my jokes. I I've want always them to be loved, like, That's So funny. I got really into comedy. I, I've been watching stand up since I was really young. Being ADHD, maybe you guys can relate, or, or whoever here is ADHD. Yeah. I could never no, fall he's asleep. He's extremely focused. So like. Eight years old, my favorite show is Letterman. Like I'm up like second grade, like like, or seven years old, and and yeah, I'd be up all night. So I always like comedy, and then I got yeah, I got really into Norm Macdonald like my first year of high school, and yeah, names you shouldn't have known you knew. But But, I thought I always thought of like jokes as kind of like math equations with words. It is exactly that. So I think there is something like. Yeah, whether exactly you want to belong Math or equations with words, you want to write that down. <laughs> there is, it's, there's a science to it. I, I sure. believe so. It's different. It's an art and a science kind of at the same time. I I feel like I'm better at the science part and less at the art. The, that's why I like comfort zone because it's like, oh, I got to think on the spot, but I'm not. Fuck it, comfort it's, zone it's is crazy. Scary. La- last night it's was wild. It's bonkers. It's fun, but it's like, wild. oh, what, what have I said on the internet? What time did it go till? Because I could possibly yeah. show It went like two hours yesterday. Like, But comfort zone is not for the faint of heart. It was crazy last night. Yeah, it we is. have to figure something out, Poseidon, on uh, OBS. I don't know what it is, bro. With the mics, we're a little too loud on uh, OBS. On comfort See, zone. This is jargon. I don't know. Yeah, even last night. Not all of us. Um, I seem fine for most of it, but some of the mics were too, like they get distorted if you watch on YouTube. I want to fix the that because LA it's such a mental gossip, show. Uh, thing. Yeah, that's like high Thank school. You. Have you been paying attention to that? Like the oh. Bobby Lee stuff and the, this stuff. Oh, this oh, fine. This is my point. This is, is why, Bobby like, Lee feuding now. Yeah. Everybody no, there, there's feuds. all feuds in LA. That's in the comedy like the things scene. we think yeah. you know like, on the like, Montreal level. This yeah. is happening yeah. at the and big, in Toronto and, and, and everywhere. Like, everyone. Yeah. Because because and I was telling Josh this last night, and it's a. It's very simple. It's because literally what we do every night for like a quote unquote living, well, Pantelis is the only one who's doing it for <laughs> yeah. a living, is go on stage and talk shit. Comics love to talk shit off stage even yeah, more. Yeah, so they course. all just talk shit. That's what a podcast is. We're just that's talking shit. Talk, We're talking, talking shit. shit. And then I think if so, that's why there's really no room for sensitivity. You just have to assume that everybody's talking shit about you and you'll be fine. Yeah, have fun. I love it. Have yeah. fun. I don't care. I just want the shit that's talked about me to be accurate. Like there's probably terrible. Like, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah so no, many, yeah. Like, no, no. Rumors and talking shit are it's different. Like these, I can't even defend that. This is like not even yeah. me. What like, I call yeah. talking yeah. shit is like, let's well, say right now, what we're doing, like if I'm busting your balls because I'm stupid. Or I'm like, yeah. fucking Josh, you did that, that's yeah. talking shit. Starting a rumor? No, I hate that. That's no, psychotic. Like that's that. like mean girl yeah. shit. I don't like yeah. that. But talking shit, just fucking around, busting mean balls. Girl, I yeah. love that more yeah. than yeah. anything. The reason yeah. the men, table the was men so in popular. The scene talk the most shit. Oh, yeah. Yeah. The I men, say, oh, yeah. We haven't gone the like, gender route yet. <laughs> but the table at the it's comedy like, uh, more seller, it was them talking shit to each other in each other's face. That's yeah, why but that's what that's the dream. That's what I love. That's what I love. I want a group of friends that I can roast. Get Kyle in here right now. They've broke. No, no. They've both been broken down. They've both the past two weeks been. 
game really? called Horse <laughs> on but stage. It, but it's different when <laughs> you that, say it. That's true. Yeah, and that's yeah. also it's, it's, it's I true. also, I get that you're just playing on a stereo, right? Like that yeah. doesn't mean all women right. are whores. No, no, no it's just you guys. Stereotype. But it's like, I've just literally, I've only ever lost money having sex. Not because <laughs> I paid for it, but just I, I feel like I've dated a string. I'm not talking about anybody in particular, but I've she dated. Is. Oh, no, I'm really not. There's so <laughs> many of them. I feel like I've dated a lot of unemployed this, people. I think about then, this a lot of time. A lot. Like, yeah. How much money you lose having How sex. much money? Because it, women take care of themselves and if they know they're going to go Oh fuck, my God. Yeah, then you have they, to. They wax. You have to shave. 70 bucks like, to wax. Oh my God. Why do you have to wax? I don't. What? Uh, I'm Shut from, up and let her do her because, thing, bro. <laughs> because like, you, and then like, then it's like, you have to have nice underwear because it's like the first okay, time. I, you know, I, I don't even right. bother with that. I like it. I like it. I mean, I don't either. I end up, I always like, I say this all the time be like celibate for a year be like i can't bother and then yeah and then that's yeah. why it's funny to be called a whore when it's like, like yeah yeah, yeah. It's fun. yeah it is funny fun. both fun. times they were called a whores on stage both was uh to fuck with audience members her it was an 18 year old girl oh. and her it was an american couple that she offended did i actually offend or they were just weirded out when you were talking shit about americans uh, okay. that's was, why i said who was my 18 year old you was in front uh there was a mom and there was an 18 year old uh, girl yes, yes, who was yes, a ballerina yes, yes, yeah. yes, yes. So that's why i said don't don't be like her. don't uh, let dudes come inside you like oh some whore yeah, yeah. follow yeah, your yeah. dreams yeah, i'm sure they let were them come yeah, in your yeah. eye Even, like a classy woman content, like, the best yeah. was the mom was like holy fuck because i was talking about her i was like don't let them bang you you can <laughs> grow up to be a depressed a whore like her yeah, that's good. The that's sad good. thing is when you're that young and you actually listen and you're like, okay, I no, the girl not. was having seeing you. I was fucking no, around. but okay, but then when you listen, like I feel like I was that way, and then you get, the, you know, your parents are like, ah, don't, you know, don't have unprotected sex, and then yeah. suddenly you're thirty yeah, and they're like, never you should that. just go and fuck people because we're never gonna have grandkids now, and like you, yeah, <laughs> they switch, but then they, they switch, do they then switch. they switch, they they're pivot. like, you can never win. I remember really. my mom once like saying to me, she's like, you need to like get high and get laid because like yeah, I'm a late bloomer and everything like i didn't start I like your mom yeah. <laughs> I my parents might be watching right now shout out to them they're uh, probably definitely oh, high how funny would it be like, if your dad's like is that what you said she's like ah something like that yeah, no this was like a one-time thing i think i even had a boyfriend at the time but i was just like a very they uptight, wanted you to live like type a type not even type type a with adh like i wanted to be type a but my life was uh, i don't know what the different types are type a is just like your like overachiever <laughs> i have a joke but, about this but oh, oh really okay. nice oh, no, yeah. Maybe you don't want to give no, her no, joke no. away. No, no, no. My joke about this is that, like, that's it, control freaks often call themselves type A. Like they're like, oh, I'm type A, I'm type A. And I'm like, that's really annoying because that insinuates that you're the best type. You know what I mean? Oh, that's funny. <laughs> it's like, you're not like, because control freaks need to like control you everything and they need like everything in like a certain place. And it's just funny. It's funny. They look at the rest of the world as B people. That's my joke. Mm -hmm. I go, my roommate looks at me and she thinks I'm a B bitch. Like she's like, <laughs> I can do better than you. That's why she's I arranged she's I like your joke about your room. Like as soon as, like that was such good writing where I'm like, I know exactly, I don't know who your roommate is, but I know exactly who your roommate is. Like I can picture this it's type a, of it's human. It's about the yeah. premise. You have to paint the picture first so people can imagine it. Right? I, I'm learning yeah. that. Like, but in so yeah. few yeah. words, yeah. like it's, it, Thank yeah, that's you. Good. Like Thank it's you like, so oh, you I know, know, I know what she's personality saying. Personality yeah. traits. Do you think people use the term sociopath uh, incorrectly? Oh, people use so yeah. many psychology terms mm -hmm. incorrectly. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. He's a fucking sociopath. Sh and am I? What is a sociopath? <laughs> it's just you can't have it. You just don't have empathy for people. Oh, You're I'm, unable I'm very to empathetic. Be empathetic. I'm an empathetic person. You're so an empanada. But you can I'm cry. Like I yawn if you yawn. They feel pain. I cry. Like when people, yeah, because they can they they can feel their I own pain. Right now. They can feel their own. Am I saying this right? I don't know. I actually. So I I. I I'm not an expert in these things. So yeah, I'm not that kind of psychologist, okay, but, okay. but yeah, yeah, you go, you might actually just know more about this from my research about yeah. it. Um, it's just people that just can't empathize with others. They're yeah, un that's unable. So yeah. And that's from something that happened to them when they were really, really young. And it's just irreversible. They There's like the they, dark they, they put up, they put the psychopath up is, a lot of psychopaths are sociopaths, but not all sociopaths are psychopaths. There's like something called a the dark triad or something of, it's like the three, is it like, I uh, it's like narcissism. The Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit? <laughs> yeah, it's yeah, the Holy Poseidon, Trinity. I have a question for you because you might know. I don't know. Is there, can it be unhealthy? It, it, like, should, because I have empathy, but should there be a limit to the empathy? Because I yeah. think part of the time I, I get anxiety so, yeah, yeah. because someone else is going through something and yeah. I can't do anything. So there's and I don't know how to separate myself. Yeah. And you know, you have people who are like, what the fuck do you care? And I want to be the what the fuck do you yeah, care yeah, yeah. person, but, but can't I can't rewire. Yeah. I think so I'm that, too old to. So, so what, like, 
a lay person or whatever thinks of as empathy is like feeling the emotions of another person, but that actually isn't necessarily the best thing because often then you take on yeah. and then it's like, Extra like some people like I'll, I'll like some people will tell me about and then I'll start crying You're like fucked. I yeah, feel yeah, it ruins so yeah. much yeah, 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 which yeah. is like cool that I'm able to do that but that's not actually helpful it's, it's not better helpful. It, the empathy it's better to be like I understand like I can you're, read you're I can understand yourself, your like a Catholic. thoughts and, fe- or not thoughts on purpose. and feelings but I can yeah. then help um, you I with think it. The my mind is like what like what can I do what can we do what can we this and that and then I take it upon but I can't yeah if you talk to anyone that I know, they'll be like, like, fuck that, fuck this. Fuck. And I can't switch it off. And I've tried, but it's You've got to try for more thing. sympathy, less empathy. But that's it. But that's, yeah. That's or like, just I think a different type of empathy. That that's like it, an anxiety thing. That the fact that you're taking that on and that it, and that it, it like ruins your day is probably that when you were younger, you were, you're used to an environment where you were like always aware of what was going on. This and is correct. Because when you're an anxious person, a lot of times when you walk into a room, this is so interesting. I recently learned this is like when you're an anxious person, you will spot the most dangerous person in the room oh, wow. without realizing because yeah. anxiety is actually like a fight or flight. Yeah, it is. So, anxiety where it comes you go, from. so you go and you find the most dangerous person in the room. So that might be someone who will abandon you or whatever, whatever your anxiety surrounds. Then I you highlight that. Yeah. 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 Then feel the worst. They're yeah. rudely attractive. Right? I yeah. fuck them. Oh, I, I do. That. I do. That's my problem. I fuck yeah. them, and then they're I like, don't really. you, want, "You need to fix them or something." But, but you know them, and so and so they, because and they're the most dangerous person, and so your anxiety you know around them. So you take uh, on their guard. emotions to protect yourself. Yeah, there's. So it sounds like anxiety is. There's a lot of research. Like anxiety is also adaptive in some way too. So then you evolve, and there's stuff so about anxious attachment. So that's very correlated with anxiety, social anxiety. But this is like where maybe you didn't have like a secure attachment figure. So like growing up, maybe sometimes your parents loved you, sometimes they didn't. So that creates anxiety. You have like crazy fear of rejection and abandonment, but then like a strong need for acceptance. I I don't have the fear of rejection or abandonment, but I have like, like when I go into a room, I do look, not not for a dangerous person, but I do look at everything. Like I have to know, where you the exit know, is, there was who's there. yeah. There was like I'm always figure. like I know. Anytime we go into a new place, I know where I could yeah. leave from. I know. I, I don't the know. Fight or flight. I yeah. don't know if this was published, but I went to like a talk. Uh, and there, Taco they, Bell. No, no. I wish. I wish there was still a Taco Bell in Montreal. Uh, but I went to like Poseidon an academic too, talk, or, and somebody did research, and it wasn't even looking at anxiety. It was looking at attachment anxiety and showing that people were that were higher in attachment anxiety. They like set something up where it looked like something was on fire in a room, and mm-hmm. they were the they were the most likely to notice, to notice it and it. warn wow. other people. So yeah. they actually, constant like, warriors. So it's like this thing that then it like, confirms your anxiety. But yeah. And it, yeah, where, but co- there's comedy that comes from that. Oh where yeah, I, I find everything hilarious. hilarious. That of creates course. also neurotic. You know, think of Woody Allen. Oh, or, or 100%. Fucking, uh, yeah. George Costanza, Larry yeah. David. The those worst are, scared. Those are like the fucking, people I grew up. Like, yeah, that's like how Jews, I thought normal. Yeah, you just named a bunch of Jews. Yeah, 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 yeah. But it's hilarious. That's what I thought normal adults were. Yeah. Like, yeah. What are they anxious about? about? Yeah. Whatever happened it's, to them? It's, it's, yeah. Co- yeah. Why, would that, exactly. why would that group of people specifically no, but yeah, a lot of that anxious about anything? that comes from there. For sure. That's skill comedy. 100%. Absolutely. And that's what I grew up like. I love that. Yeah, yeah. Cat's kill comedy. It is. Yeah, With yeah, Pat yeah. Cooper. Yeah. I, I saw you post that, because uh, I thought Giggle Fest was like a one-time thing, but there's a show happening. What is it? Margaritaville? What, what is that? What's yeah, it called? Yeah, so I started, it's just, yeah, Giggle Fest was a one-time You're festival. You're Giggle Fest? I'm Giggle Fest. I heard you on CJAD when oh, the power did. went out. <laughs> and you, you said, we're Eli- moving place. Yeah, Elias we were talking Michaels. to Natasha or I, Elias, Elias. Michaels. Elias. Hey, uh, yeah. be, uh, I'm sorry they had to speak that douchebag, but uh, oh, okay. what, oh. uh, I don't like him. But what what's happening uh, when you listen to her? How did you like her voice on the radio? Is it not the best radio voice? I loved it. Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Nice to put. I think a, I need like a late night show, radio yes. show. You know what I mean? Yeah. You should talk. Uh, uh, but talk about the show. P- I want people PBS. to go watch. <laughs> yeah. So there's this show. So so Giggle Fest happens once a year, and mm. then I kind of just wanted to do a few shows. Like I'm going to do one monthly summer show, like under the Giggle Fest like brand or whatever. And this show I'm really excited about. It's called Spicy Marg Comedy Show. I'm like. A sucker for a spicy margarita and i find in montreal there's not like there's i've had really good ones like i went recently to uh, fugazi they have a really good spicy margarita but i just find there's not really a place for it and it's a fun summer drink and people like it and you can get a regular margarita also if you don't like the spice but it's called Spi- spicy marg comedy show okay <laughs> and it's like five it's acts a, and it's I at like Poubelle magnifique and it's amazing it's kind of weird enough to be like 
should I go to that? Spicy margarita. I want. I've never been to Poubelle Magnifique, and I like the name of Magnificent Garbage. Yeah. And yeah. Want, <laughs> because all the art that they have in their place it's from is, is found. It's, it's found. lost, it's cool. found art. You mean stolen? <laughs> a stolen art. Um, <laughs> Magnificent Garbage is in St. Leon art. No, they it. just know it's like found in the garbage. It's garbage oh, art. I saw that once Poubelle in Toronto. Toronto people. These goddamn hippies. Yeah, I like are there that. a bunch of communists in there? What's going on? No, they're so cool. They're not. Yeah? I, I mean, actually, I don't know. I can't. Well, speak they have for a business. Their, they're probably capitalists. For their politics, but they're a great group of Please people. Please do. I need to know. Yeah. <laughs> I need to know where they stand um, on social issues I'll before I walk find. in. Yeah, I want to go just because I like the name Poubelle yeah. Magnifique, and, and uh, Mar- all your shows normally are fucking funny. So, what do you Thank spice you. it it's with? Ancho, morito. Oh, the margarita? Yeah, like the, um, I'm, usually, I'm oh, the good peppers. ones are done with like a jal- jalapeno and then you do like a, a jalapeno. Jalapeno and you do like um. Is there guys talk like, like this a, over there? I feel like there's like a pineapple and something. like a, Sometimes you I can add like a little like pineapple and like maybe habernero. Yeah. And, and, and then you do like a tahine rim. 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 Have I'm we figured out the fruity drinks uh, that are going to be available at the third floor yet? No, not yet. Me oh, and Josh you, are working you on it. I tried one mojito. that you guys made. I yeah, mean, the watermelon one. That was good. It's good, but it's better as a shot. Okay. So uh, we keep keep it as a shot. Cause, uh, uh, I would like him to order Guinness 0.0, please. It's available. The third floor is uh, soon to be undergoing a nice little makeover. Yeah. I'm very excited In the about future, that. yeah. Uh, uh, Josh is going with the um, hair club uh, for men. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's just oh, his. that's not nice. Why am I shitting on the guy? He's a nice guy. <laughs> Wait, are you trying to make fun of him for being bald? Probably. You were in a crack house. I have a great head of <laughs> but hair. But he has a That's great head of hair. He does have you a great know, head of hair. When you walk into a crack house, yeah. people think you're serious. Uh, Plus, also the beard. You see, he looks cool with the beard. It took a lot of convincing to uh, get him uh, to grow uh, a beard. Speaking of talking trash, you know the people are talking trash about us right now, aren't they? Uh, aren't they watching us talking yeah. trash? I hope so. Oh, oh like the, the folks at home. Like, yeah, they're, they're, yeah, they're do, t- do they do that? Do people they are, listen? Yeah, people yeah, will talk shit you, all Are you seeing, are they talking shit? Besides? Mostly positive. I thought you had, yeah, because you have fans. You have yeah. legitimate Yeah, fans. they're good. They're good, yeah, but yeah. There's, always, there's always the odd psychopath. The odd, yeah. 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 Okay. Or sociopath. No, I don't know the difference. So far, I've had no audience. fallout from being part of the like Pentelis universe with the. It's the, a good universe. Yeah. It's most a good most, universe. Uh, most of my people are here. nice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 grateful to be here. Yeah, yeah. we yeah. kind of yeah. weed out like uh, you know what Nazis, the to- toxicity, communists. Toxic? We weed all that shit. Yeah, the toxic people. We weed them Trying, out. Yeah, yeah. As I get older, you notice people are a lot of there's a lot of assholes as you get older. Yeah, I was singing I, this on the ride over. I was like. There's, I really dislike a lot of people, yeah. and, and what I don't know. Should help you I do don't know why. More. If that's from stand up or like yeah. now I, that I have this like one thing that I'm driven to do, but like yeah. I noticed recently that I'm like, there's a lot of people in my life that I do not even care for anymore, and yeah. it's so weird. You know why? Is that, is that from being in the Pantelis universe? Is no, no, I, no, like, it, I it's like, like everybody. It's like your yeah, armor. Yeah. I yeah. don't. That's I, really nice. Well, I hate. That's why you're the people. nice whore, and it's, I'm yeah, the yeah. one. It's because you meet. <laughs> I give it away for free. I'm you like, you the, the older you get, the more people you meet, and then what happens is you start going down a road where all the people that you want, you start attracting them like magnets. You have like your fans, the people that you like doing comedy with, mm-hmm. and then everyone else is kind of negative. You don't see a reason anymore. Yeah, to hang out to ch- to try to appease them. So you're like, ugh, I fucking hate these people. You, like, so you cut them off. And you know what but I do. Sometimes, like, exactly. if you don't like somebody, like, I don't it, care. It's I used to care that you actually have a lot in common, and maybe they remind you about some something that you but, don't. But like But that's in fine. Yourself. That you could talk about. But it's there's going like to be a people. Psych PhD. That you're just <laughs> zero on. You just it's always clash. They bring nothing good to you. When you were younger, even me when I was younger, I would try to appease them. Oh, why this and that? And then you get to a point where you're like. I have so much positive. Fuck these people. Yeah. Fuck them. I'm going to go with what I, works, like uh, with the people that are nice and then fuck that most, shit. Most toxic people full of drama, in my experience, are the ones that aren't doing anything and are probably taking a lot of substances. Yeah. Because that's how I was. When I was, the biggest chip <laughs> on like my shoulder drugs is when I'm not better. busy. <laughs> like, when You're I'm not drugs. doing anything, yeah. I have a chip on my shoulder. When I have... Um, it's true. What is it? Victor Frankl, meaning and purpose. That's his whole thing. Uh, uh, if you have stuff to do and a reason to get out of bed and you have a busy yeah. schedule, yeah. you don't have time for the drama. The yeah. People yeah, I'm not going to go yeah, sabotage yeah, yeah, yeah. someone. People, get, people yeah. get upset too. Like people that see you have like a strong, especially yeah. like a strong purpose or a strong yeah. like, like passion. Like there's a lot, I've noticed as some people get like really intimidated by that and they project their fear of yeah. not doing yeah. what they Correct. want because everyone has what, knows what they want to do. Right. Yeah. And then there's two groups of people in life. There's fear-based people and who don't do, act on it, and then yeah. there's people who do it once, and they're like, "Wow, it's so easy to jump against your fears. Let's keep doing it." Yeah, and once you do it, 
the people that are fear-based are really like look at you and they're like oh fuck and like i wish i could do that but i'm too scared so now i have to project i, my to, I still like, like, go through you. it i still meet people that do that to me. my therapist poseidon <laughs> even too Some people will talk shit on him for doing like why him why is he doing this why and he's not he's literally not he, he hasn't stolen anything from anyone he's projecting, doing like it's amazing but they're projecting does a great job like yeah, but well, yeah, they, he's not, not but that's why no no, no. <laughs> when but that's not. why they get but that's why they get mad because like why him or doing why is he here he's gone you've gone through it too poseidon we've seen it they get jealous and he's he's stolen nothing. Like it's no, not like someone no. else was in his position and we replaced him. Right? Oh, he's yeah. stolen nothing, and it's still people like why him? Why right. this? It's not like he he took an opportunity from someone no. else. You know, yeah. he he, no, he built his, it. He, he earned he his built spot. It, he earned his. Yeah. He, he built created this city. it. Yeah. yeah. I called him. I said he was like your Ed McMahon, and he didn't know who Ed no, McMahon was. No, he wants know. to be my I Vince like McMahon. That drives me crazy on the show. He wants to be my Vince McMahon. He wants me to kiss his ass. I don't know who Eggman is. Ed, okay, Ed Johnny, Car- is Johnny Carson. I'm not that old, sidekick. but yeah, yeah. You're aging yourself. Okay, like, oh, like oh, a Star Carl Pil- Pilkington or an Adam E. Get like a... Like, like the your, partner, your, like your, 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 your sidekick. Your sidekick. sidekick. He the invented the sidekick. The guy yeah. who gets like shit on, but in a in a loving way. Yeah, yeah. he gets they shit on, but they the love him. Yeah. He hosted oh, the original... Uh, he was the original he's fucking... Cute. Um, the Star Search. He was the... the he, but he's oh, the original American sidekick. Idol. He's yeah, the original he's real like, sidekick. Yeah, yeah. Because there's a difference between a sidekick and a guy that you shit on because everyone hates, like the villain. He's, he's the, host, the sidekick is on the good team. Yeah, it's like you're yeah. in on the joke. Yeah. You're, he used yeah. to host bloopers and practical jokes with uh, Dick Clark. Why do I know that? Dick Clark. Hey, I, I decided to check... I, uh, you know words that people don't use properly? Tell me. If I say one word, this word to you, what is the first thing you think about? Mm. Swashbuckling. Uh, I don't know what that I is. I don't even know. I've heard well, it, I, but I don't know what that is. When you hear the word swashbuckling. It sounds like a like a, like a old-timey pic- yeah. Civil War I type of thing. I pictured the Nike logo on a belt because swash well, is like swoosh. Every on single a time like I watch uh, sounds like uh, I don't know what that is. Pirates maybe. of the Caribbean or anything to yeah. do with pirates, they always use the word swashbuckling. It sounds like describe, something you would do to okay. slaves during the Civil now, War. But, but the swashbuckling is, it does not mean that. Swashbuckling means a guy who holds uh, a sword and a shield like, or like Captain America that's what swashbuckling means okay. what does that mean? a guy who holds like a shield and a weapon that's well, if you're ready you're swashbuckling you're ready. look engaging in daring and romantic adventures with bravado and flamboyance Ooh. and I'm swashbuckling okay that's not what I got I so. swashbuckling I, I took a photo of it sounds gay uh, <laughs> okay I'm a swashbuckling a, uh, you just, a compound just of swash to swagger with the drawn sword and buckler, a small shield gripping the fist. That's Maybe. us. We're swashbuckling right now on podcast. I was just about to say. Yeah. Uh, these are the things I do when I don't gamble. Yeah, don't gamble. <laughs> and I watched. Are you? Uh, are you? Do you have a gambling No, problem? I never did. I have a dopamine. Wow, issue. Hold on a second. I feel like hold anxiety on a second. and gambling hold on a go hand I lost in hand. Did he the just say like, it's the perfect no, 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 storm. I lost all my money gambling. I don't have a problem. You see this? I just can't win. You see this building <laughs> next door? The, this building. <laughs> this. I, I heard Norm Macdonald <laughs> say it. Oh, yeah. It's that was very funny, by the way. Uh, I admit, that was very. My funny. My problem is I'm not good no. at gambling. I don't have a gambling. Uh, <laughs> exactly, it makes sense what you're saying, Pentels. The reason I I I I never did. I would always go to the casino at Christmas time, but uh, I had low dopamine, and it didn't occur to me that this slot machine was a dopamine pump. And the worst thing that happened to me, and I heard Norm Macdonald say this, and I heard Artie Lang say. It, is I won a lot of money in one shot. Yeah, it's yeah. the worst. Yeah. That is the, it's the... Uh, then you're chasing that. It's the it's t- without noticing that yeah. you're chasing it. It's tunnel vision. You, you just, it's, uh, uh, that's what it was. I, won, I walked out of the casino with 45 grand cash. I used to live in the building next what? door. Yeah. The building next door in a loft apartment with ceilings this high. Yeah. It was a Tinder champion. Yeah. It was wonderful. It was a loft. I had a uh, Tinder champion. Like you, like you like oh, that was the, that was the icing on the cake. Like if people they, if she would already swipe, agreed, yeah. right? Because they come the over. Yeah, the, it, that closed the deal. Even once it, it hosted, looked like I had my I shit mean, together. Listen, bitches do love real estate. But I bitches love real estate. I don't, I don't but he it. also once hosted a night uh, with an uh, old uh, prostitute for his friend Adam, the uh, the yeah, the, the artiste, to get at the beginning of pop his cherry. Yeah, beginning. That's how we first met Adam. Is we try to get him laid. Yeah. Anyway, with next a prostitute. Time. so with that, with mo- a prostitute, just before, and it the- sounds easy, right? March 
Still yeah, a virgin. Ju- ju- Still a virgin. I Maybe feel, he's, I feel uh, like that sounds. I feel like that's harder as he's, your first time. No, he's asexual. You don't have the cushion of no, like not. being in I love. I think he's asexual. But th- she she told she us. Said she, she told us what happened once. What are you talking about? He said he was so scared to bang her that he jerked off in a condom. I and remember then, that. Yes, what? and then he tried. He's like, okay, now I'm ready. After Why he did came, he jerk off into a condom. Because he's Adam. Oh, because you have to rub one out to not come yeah, fast. Yeah, but why in, he, like, in, yes, in I know. I learned her. this yesterday. Apparently, she, I know everything about You learned this gym. yesterday? Oh, yeah. Comfort zone? I yeah. feel like comfort all, all we talk about is You didn't know about calm, rubbing like. one out before the date? It's comfort <laughs> zone. Yeah, 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 yeah. That yeah. I know. Uh, yeah, that Peter Griffin said it. No, no, but what he did. You knuckle children. Besides, you remember this? He jerked off into a condom in front of her like while he was watching her. And she's and then he came and then... Then he, for some reason, like, now I want to, I, I should bang her. But his, he was trying to bang her, but his penis was flaccid. And she goes, he was trying to bang me with a flaccid penis. I tried my best to get him erect. He couldn't. No, no, no. And then we still paid her. I said, thank you for your service, ma'am. I have a question. Should I call Adam right now? No. <laughs> I, I have a question. Yes. So you're talking about like the, the pre-date jerk off, right? That yeah. you do that. But do you not get post-nut clarity? And then you're just like, I... Post-nut clarity? Yes. I, uh, uh, I've do you like go on the date and you're like, oh. Yeah, no, 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 no not I, even. Only, I only get that when I'm actually lying next to her after so I come. So it's, okay, no, you no, only no, get, no, po- no. You, you don't <laughs> no. get post-nut clarity when you jerk off. You only get post-nut clarity after you've That's finished. That's not true. No, with no, you get, no. You get, Many times you jerk off and you're like, I'm canceling this no. date. I hate this person. After jerk <laughs> off, Yeah, that's usually uh, the guilt. test, right? If you still want to see her. After jerk off, regret, guilt, and hatred for oneself. Yes. Um, yeah, guys, that's the thing. People don't talk about filthy. it. Men we have so, really much shame, so much shame and we hate ourselves. It's men the are afternoon. Jerking off. You should be doing something. Why yeah. are you jerking off? Insecure men ruin the world. Yeah, you're, 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 and you're not supposed to talk they about take it. everyone people, down with, yeah. it, with them. Yeah. Yeah. It's true. When women hurt, they hurt themselves. When men hurt, they hurt everybody else. <laughs> but that's not, that's not an exaggeration. Uh, they do. I, um, like they beat their uh, kids. They, I, yeah. I wonder how they get violent. They molest their kids. They Jesus fucking. Christ. They do all kinds of stuff. I don't agree with it. It is true. It happens. But uh, God is that damn. an estrogen thing? No, it's just. I, I don't know. Actually, I I think because I think there's a lot of societal pressure on men, and as much as they do benefit from the structure that we currently have, there's a lot. Not all men, by the way, just calm down. There's a lot of pressure. Him too. He's picking his head to up. Be <laughs> like the guy to like be the guy to to be a uh, good like. Just be good at everything I've, to be prov- yeah. a provider. Uh, I don't to be need directions all the way. Regardless of if yeah. we need that anymore, because okay. I don't think that some women don't need it. I, some do still do. But everyone, men and women need strong individuals around them, strong yes, women, strong men. Yeah. The I, problem is that we have a generation now that grew up, it's going to sound crazy, with a bunch of pussies. What I mean by that is not a bunch of, I just mean a bunch of weak people. Over, overprotected children. That, yeah, mm-hmm. that then. Yeah. Put, push yeah. that on my, the kids. My pussy's strong as hell. Sure, pussy know, is strong as hell. Sounds <laughs> fantastic. But, but we get, we put all that pressure on, the, and then these kids grew up in that weird bubble world, and now they're insecure, they're fucked up, but they're the class that's now ruling. So that's why everything is broken because you don't have a lot of people, based. yeah, willing to be like, whoa, no, 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 this isn't right. Let's do the right thing. They're like, well, what if this person doesn't like me? What if everyone doesn't like me? Mm-hmm. Like Trudeau, for example. That's why the economy is destroyed. He didn't want to say one. All right, let's just tighten our belt. Uh, he wants to be taxes. everybody's friend. He wants to be everybody's friend, which fucks up the I country. Don't and he's not assertive. Like yeah. And, and the when worst. he says something like tough, you know, it's not sincere, bro. If well, I mean. Now there, he's seems, running. It seems he's running a country like that. I met him. He he's nice running guy. an entire that's country okay. like that. Okay, and and it's going downhill. And he's I just don't one do of politic. many. If you know, like crazy, no, no, but you know how crazy it is to do that in for a country. Yeah. If I ran my business that way, I'd be homeless. And this guy does it for an entire nation of fucking people. It's and it's not, he's not the only one. A lot of people do it. A lot of countries that run that way. You have to make the tough decisions. You can't try to be like, well, this guy's gonna be a fan. This guy's yeah. gonna be. You're fucking everything up without being Sometimes funny. Sometimes a kid you needs need to be a, told. But this a lot of people don't want to make tough decisions. You need a captain. A lot of people don't want to make tough decisions in their yeah. life every day. Like you see it all. Like every day. It's, it's, it's hard. It's people. hard to think. It, it's like I think it's worse to be reject or to have to reject somebody than to do the rejection. Like it's worse to hurt somebody in any way or say no like just not even in a political Some people way love but like, hurting other people like i have never produced a comedy show not because i don't i'm not capable of it or i'm too lazy but because i don't want to have to not book people i don't want somebody to ask oh, me oh that's for really nice no, of you but, but why I, would you do that because it, it just, like i literally just leave them so, on red really but it, i, it I have studied i've studied i studied literally studied rejection empirically for years. So you don't want to, like, you could succeed at a show, but, but like, you don't want to let people... No, no, you're not understanding. So, 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 no, 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 no. You're not understanding. It's feeling, very sad and annoying. Feeling rejected, yeah. it's processed in the brain the same way as physical pain, but it's also harder to get over and easier to relive. So you can... I don't actually think this is true. I don't... But, like, I would... 
ethically, I would feel better punching somebody in the face than saying huh. no to them. I'm not going to do that. That's but wow. it, it, it feels like it, it feels well, like it doesn't dying. feel good. It doesn't it, feel good when I tell people no. Or it, you feel like shows, you're so murdering somebody because like it, yeah. it, it, it's like a death. Like oh, that, I get it. No, because we I, like I, so the idea is like our social pain system. So that, like hurt feelings, uh, heartbreak. It piggybacked on our physical pain system because thousands of years ago, if you weren't part of a group, you would die. You needed people to survive. We're a social species. So saying no to somebody, it, it feels like, I feel like I'm murdering them. I get And it. I don't okay. want to do it, yeah. which I know, like I'm fucking myself. The like I, thing to do I know, to I know, I know. That's the because thing too, some, like, that's why people ghost. They don't want to say no. Yeah. And, 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 and that's worse. That's ignoring I is think, actually yeah. worse. Yeah. Ignoring, st I'm t stonewalling too is really bad for psych like psychologically. Stonewalling is when you, is when you just like, Fuck off. Much. it's very passive aggressive but you kind of punish someone by with your absence and it's like they looked into it it's like psychologically one of the, mm -hmm. the cruelest things you can do to someone and that's why like i grew up with a lot of stonewallers and now i have such a hard look like if you stonewall me it's like you're cut like you're done. Okay, tell me again, stonewalling. It's like it's like. Have you ever had like a, a girlfriend who's like mad at you and she doesn't talk to you for like a week? Like passive aggressive. It's passive aggressive. Okay. Yeah. That that concept of like yeah. leaving someone and like not really I telling. Hate like that. you can take time. Like there's yeah. some people need yeah. processing time. But yeah. if, if I if we you and I get into a fight and I'm like, look, I don't want to talk to you, but we're gonna talk tomorrow at seven p.m. That's a healthy way. And to that's take, being assertive. That's a healthy way to take right. absence whatever but if i you get into a fight and i say i'm leaving and then i don't talk to you for a month that's like manipulation every time yeah, that's, see, terrible. That, that's, that's stonewalling i and hate psychologically yeah. it's very I had a girl do terrible. that to me once i a lot of My people did that to, to me. me i was i was really influenced but that's why i don't i didn't look at social media a lot because it really had a negative effect on my person yeah, but, but you're a dickhead yes you, i am yeah, no one but not getting enough likes media. would bother you fuck no off. that's it i was you, too sensitive are you one of those guys who who looks at the people who watch no, 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 their no. stories I, I don't i don't i haven't really i really haven't looked at it okay in years. good don't do that yeah uh, but uh what i mean <laughs> is that. because yeah, when i asked before about whether or not it's to do with biology uh I, I go to mexico a lot for various medical reasons <laughs> and once upon a time when i was uh in a very good state i would uh uh mess around with Injecting testosterone. Mm -hmm. Now, some of these uh, uh, had a neg negative effect of producing estrogen. Okay. And it's there that I noticed my behavior actually changed. I became more sure. sensitive. And Hormones are crazy. Right. Yeah. They're crazy. It's funny because I'm sure there's people who are sad and think I hate them because sometimes it takes me like a month to reply. But it's because I receive a lot of shit at once. Oh, you have to put yourself. And I in reply to the important shoes. stuff first, yeah. and then yeah. I forget because then new yeah. shit comes in. I, I, and then yeah. sometimes it's a month later. I'm like, holy fuck! I have a message from this girl, this guy. Message and then like, again. This is why people yeah. need to. But message here's the thing. Again. Then I'm like, don't assume. Do, that sometimes he's an I won't, asshole. But sometimes I won't reply because I'm like, it's too late. It's a month and a half. I reply yeah. now. And now they I'm know. I'm gonna yeah. look like a psychopath. And, but because they just yeah. sometimes I have free time and bang bang everything's banging. But then sometimes I get everything at once. And I don't have free time. I'm like, oh, this is important. I got to yeah. take care of this. I got to take care of that. And then by the time I get to you, you don't need the thing that you want anymore. And you forgot about or it. Like all, I mean, just like the ADHD thing sometimes. If I'm yeah, not same. like sitting at my computer or my phone and like in the mood to start responding to people, I just, I forget. Or, or you wake up in the middle of the shit. night and you look at your phone, you've got like texts or Facebook. I don't do that DM, night. Whatever. Catch me in the day. And then you fall back asleep, but you've like got yeah. rid of the notifications. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, I fuck myself all the time. And look, like my phone, I think I have like 73 unread texts right yeah, now. And I'm not, I'm not popular. I'm just wow. bad. Imagine the shit that I have. So I apologize. Anybody watching yeah, yeah. that I've ghosted, oh, I have, it's not personal. I'm but just useless. I know some people, they piss me off because some people People don't realize how busy like like yeah. they think well, i'm as have not like busy 15k followers on instagram it's, Your DMs, it's like it's it's insane to me that people don't realize that you literally might not even see it there's a lot i don't see yeah, yeah. there's a yeah. lot you don't see and yeah. this is why like when i started producing i realized that it was the people who would now let's not be crazy don't message me every day i feel like i'm unlocking something but it was the people who messaged me per consistently. Like if, if I didn't get an answer, I would be like, hey, just following up. Like it's those people that were right in my purview that I was like, oh yeah, they're fucking funny. Yeah, come do a spot this yeah. day. So it's like, there's also if like, polite, if you get not, mad, not, not you can't get mad at a producer for not for leaving you on red ever. Like yeah. that's crazy. All me is more they than producing. Because even not even producing, not even like having a huge following. It's just like the, and the, the, and the way people can contact you now. So then you 
get you get the people who text you, you get the people who DM you on one app and then the ones on the other app. The then, I, that's why and, I took off notifications so, for social media. So I'll never be notified if you send me something. I have to go actively yeah. and look because and if, if I, I was work, getting notifications, yeah. It, it, I wouldn't be able to live if I'm the thing, working the thing, yeah. and then it's like a text come if it pops up on my computer like if I get distracted for two seconds you're, it's you're like done. now now my, the next hour I have to, it yeah. takes me that long to then get back but into the, the idea assignment. that you're entitled to a response is from anyone for anything is insane that's how I feel there like, are it's uh, comedians that wait for the phone to ring no, you have to go out there and get yeah, it. You have to go insane. talk. Oh, no, to I, to I am, I am, I am the basement. most passive person. Like, yeah. I, I take you have full accountability, go, but I don't oh, get mad I, if people don't book me either. Mike, Mike's my best friend. I see him. That's a good attitude, but you should. I, I, know, I know. I need, Mike, you, I could get a reply in two minutes or four days. I feel like days. I can learn right. from you. It depends. <laughs> Mike, I can literally, we have a fucking podcast. I can literally get a reply in 30 seconds or depending on what's happening in four days. He doesn't hate me. He's fuck, He's like me. He's fucking doing a million in one thing. Yeah. Norm MacDonald so was you the think best at oh, I'm gonna catch, like that. He's my favorite That's comedian. Him. I love that man. Yeah. I'm going to catch it. Uh, oh, when I get back, you know, and then you forget about because something else comes in. Like me, yeah. it's always one thing. After, I don't have a day where I'm calm. It's podcasting. It's editing. It's yeah. doing stand-up. You watch soccer. And I watch soccer like a fanatic. So there's so much shit happening at once. Yeah. I, some stuff flip, uh, slips yeah. through the cracks and I always hope that I do the, the main stuff. Like right now I have the main stuff. I have to oh, like graphics to do for just for that, like all yeah, kinds yeah, of shit yeah, for yeah. the summer. And I'm trying to make sure I get that shit done before yeah. anything else. For sure. I remember in New York years ago when I was in a theater school, um, Mike Nichols, you know, the director, Mike Nichols, he, yeah. Uh, yeah. directed the graduate married to Diane Sawyer. My microphone's uh, being funny. That's because uh, you're, you're low talking. No, so I'm it's the gate talking. cutting you off. Uh, he said to us, uh, if, you know when it says casting directors outside the door, no visitors, no drop-offs, like don't drop yeah, yeah, off yeah. your CV and stuff. If that sign on that door intimidates you, you're in the wrong business. Uh, That's yeah. what he, Oscar yeah. winning. Yeah. And, and it's, I remember that made me think of the, the non, the people that won't message. That's well, yeah. So, thing. okay. So I went to a talk of the creator of Degrassi. Okay. Her name's Linda Schuler. was like the most amazing. The original talk. Degrassi. The original Degrassi. Yeah, yeah. She's a, te the te she's a Smith, teacher. Fan, she yeah. created the show. She was, she was. Spike. Everything. I love Degrassi. That's why I learned I, about AIDS, Jerry, drugs, Jeremiah, everything. Everything. lesbians, it was, abortion. It was amazing. All yeah. the Degrassi. I can tell I love you guys the too. craziest things about the way that they wrote the show. That's really it's cool. Incredible. I would have gone to that. It's incredible. So, and she gave a, an instance of how she had someone that was their, her story coordinator and he asked her for coffee and he was like, I want to be a writer. And she kept saying no. She kept, she said no. Like, I think they said no to him like six times and he just kept whatever. And then he ended up cracking one of like the best stories on Degrassi, which yeah. is he cracked the the story about the the trans character. It was like one of the first trans characters. I don't even remember that. In the, in the, in the first one. Uh, yeah. And they, it was they, a trans they, character. I don't even remember. Yeah, it, was it Joey they, Triviani? They were no, one of the. That's, that's the first. They were one of the. First. First shows to really yeah. show like a trans character yeah, yeah, in like yeah, a real yeah. way. And they sat on that storyline for four years because they wanted to do it properly and they wanted to make sure they like told the story correctly so it wasn't like bad. And and this guy, anyway, this guy, he sat, but like he was persistent and he, they would tell him no all the time and he, he persisted and then he ended up being one of, and now he's in LA and he's an amazing writer. And so you have to say, you have, yeah. if you're in this business, no like is the only time I will say that no is like a suggestion. Right. Not when you're having sex, though. Right. <laughs> now she tells me. <laughs> you should write that down. I like that. Yeah. Uh, Thanks. Yeah, so you got uh, so many doors, dude, that I ended up opening or breaking down. They were always initial, like, no's. Yes. Or, you just have to... But I know a lot of people that just stop. They give up. The second there's a small obstacle, they're like, I'm done. I always try to find the angle or the way around. Or they're, like, locked down by, like, traditionalists. Like, I don't want to... I'm not going to be in a room if I wasn't invited kind of mentality. I've, I've done Some that. of that works, too, but it's every situation there's is different. Yeah. Sometimes then there's those also doors, people who are entitled, too. Yeah. And, and I hate like that shit. And, and yeah. Sometimes those too. doors that's get yeah. knocked on by the unprepared wrong people. That's what's bad. Yes. Right place, right time is, yes. is what you need. And sometimes yeah. you're at the right place, wrong time or wrong fucking yeah. place. Or make the, the wrong right decisions. Yeah. I've had those crossroads Me in too. my life and I've made the wrong decision, trusted the wrong people and not gone. Mm -hmm. uh, or you just get fucked by luck. Yeah. Like, I, yeah, sometimes it's just bad luck. I, yeah. I, I was in the right place at the right time, got an opportunity in LA and then the pandemic hit. Like, it, like yeah. sometimes. Yeah. It wasn't. Like, like that, that was just. Wasn't, she was in the was right just, place, right time, wrong oh, China. It, uh, <laughs> at the comedy was, store. But that was. That's Someone said to that uh, your journey is go on. You ready to go on? Time. Just go yeah. on. Oh, me. Thank yeah. you. Oh, yeah, the first I, time yeah. I went See, on there. That's yeah, how yeah. I Comedy look at store, Pantelis. Like yeah. Yeah, the he first, was ready. The, uh, uh, the uh, moment the, came like that. Yeah, uh, but that, that was a But you have to be ready. Yeah. And that's, yeah, that's, that's what important. I mean, to be prepared. Yeah. Yeah, years yeah. ago, I was uh, I was still working uh, and I, uh, they had sent me to, it was the first time I was ever in LA and I had meetings in the day, this and that. And then at night, I was alone. 
I had my hotel room and stuff. I was like, fuck, what do I do? I go, I'll go to comedy. And I had just started, I was an open micer at the time. I was doing a bit of comedy for like a year or two, uh, or a year probably around, a uh, year and a half. And I go to the comedy store. They were doing the roast battle upstairs. And before they yeah. had like, uh, basically they draw from, because they didn't want the show to just be roast out. They the wanted some comedy. Room. The, the belly room. room. So they were just drawing names. It was Brian Moses drawing names out of a hat. And I was walking and I had tickets to go see the thing. And he goes, uh, are you a comic? And I said, well, no, I'm just here to see the show. Yeah, in Montreal, but I'm just here. He's like, can you put your name in, in the hat? Probably we're not going to pick you because there's it's like full names. But just because since you do comedy, because I told him I do comedy, he goes, because we want the show to go well. We don't want to just rant. So maybe we'll pick you. I go, they're not going to pick me. So I remember, I think it was the second, like they picked five names, like a second name. He's like, this next guy has one name. That's amazing. That's I remember awesome. that. I was like, holy fuck. And then I got to perform and I got a lot because I was ready. Everyone else was like, it was open yeah. micers that were going on, but yeah. I was already doing. Yeah. Uh, like I think I was already started doing weekends by that time at the nest. Yeah. 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 So uh, it was good. I, no, met, when, I, met, when, I made what, friends what there. Year? When Probably was sure his house is twenty thirteen. I think okay. around twenty. Is that when it just was that when like Adam Egot took over and then it like started getting good? Like when I, I don't remember. I had fun because the store was like struggling. No, no. When I was there, it was yeah. fun. Yeah. I think Egot must have been there because it was fun when I was when I had went. But then. I had, uh, so then I came back, I did that. And to me, it motivated me. I was like, oh, that was fucking lucky. That was fun. But I, it, we still weren't at a point where I could think of it as being a career because we live in Montreal. <laughs> and then it was after I had went back, I think a year later, but then I was booked to do uh, a Thursday night at uh, in Pasadena at the yeah, Ice House. Yeah, yeah. But by then I had made friends. And then Pasadena, I met like Hannah Dickinson. I met friends in comedy that I still like, mm -hmm. like today. Um, and yeah, and then it just started slowly snowballing, yeah. snowballing. Yeah, a lot of yeah. right place, right time. And yeah. all, like I remember yeah. the way I got in at the Ice House was um, uh, Ivan Paisel. He's a comedy a juggler. He does all kinds of cool shows. He was, uh, they made me open for him at the Nest, Acker. And we became friends. He was a super cool guy. It was funny. And he liked my shit. And he goes, look, man, if ever you're in LA, like I'm good at the Ice House. I could get you, mm -hmm. I could yeah. get you a book yeah. in there. Mm -hmm. And he fucking came through. I had flown in. Again, I was yeah. working. I had flown for a meeting. And I sent a message, I go, look, this and this. And he hooked it up and they fucking, yeah. and Sometimes then I made friends. It's, it's the yeah. people that you know as well, too. Tony yeah. Hinchcliffe. But you have to be good. Hinchcliffe. Tony. Yeah, I smoked him on yeah. a joint years ago. Tony That's Hinchcliffe was the one in the, so Hinchcliffe, I, we had met him, I had met him with Mike uh, in 2018. At JFL? At JFL. Yeah. Uh, it was 2018, I believe. Uh, Tony Hinchcliffe is the person, if you ever heard the story when we talk about Poseidon getting uh, pepper sprayed by a hooker <laughs> uh, the day before we, ha we went on Rogan with Mike uh, in, uh, in L.A., Tony Hinchcliffe is the comic that Poseidon had took in a spot in the back uh, and they were asking him to move the car and he was just screaming because he, <laughs> he was angry because he got robbed and pepper sprayed by a hooker. Uh, Tony Hinchcliffe was the one that when he was walking back, he's like, what's going on? And I go, ah, he was just robbed and pepper sprayed by a hooker. <laughs> Tony Hinchcliffe, because I see the story, there was a comic, he's the comic I'm talking about because he just looked at him and said, you got to watch out for those hookers, buddy. <laughs> and then he just walked and went to his car. He had like this badass car. But he's yeah. the comic that I talk about. He was the one who... Um, yeah, he was good. And he uh, Hinchcliffe is actually a nice dude. Because I remember I had met him he at is. Just for Laughs. He was cool. And then a year later, or months later, when, when I saw him at the store, and I don't have an easy name. He remembered my name, yeah. too. Oh, that's Years nice. later. When he was like, hey, Pantel. Yeah. And I was like, what? And in my yeah. head, I go, this motherfucker sees... All these because oh, he's so like many kill people. Tony, all that with like, Kilton, yeah. so many people, and he remembered a name that's that sometimes here people have problems understanding, saying, and yeah. the cocksucker remembered that, it. He I knows. feel like that's why he remembered it. You know yeah. who's a, mess? a memorable name? But this is not—it's not a perfect correlation. But I feel like that, like sometimes the edgier or quote unquote more offensive the material, the nicer the comic. Like he's, he's like, a good dude. But well, yeah, great right? because like people Bob get Sagan. mad about. Yeah, I, exactly. Yeah. I agree. Because no, yeah, even yeah. this everyone squad says he's a wonderful person. Yeah, we're lunatics. You guys say the craziest thing, like to the point where Sarah and I are like, <laughs> will we ever get hired anywhere? And then you go off stage and it's like the nicest yeah. group of guys that I've yeah. ever had. And like, then there's other guys yeah. in the scene that like their material's clean and then off stage they say the craziest Rapist. thing. Or, or I feel... Oh. Or I feel like uncomfortable around them. Yeah, but that's I've not had people ask me like, like they watch it and somebody says something and they're like, "Oh, were you uncomfortable?" I'm like, "No, because I know that person and I know that's actually the antithesis of who they are." Yeah, right. that's why it's, it's funny. Like when they right. get off stage. They get it. Yeah. It's like yeah. they actually respect women. Tom Hanks trying to play a, a murderer in a movie. It's just not possible. He could play a fucking psychopath. No, Tom Hanks. he did in uh, anyway. Why did I say that? I don't know, but it's a good, I like your talking. transitions. You just, you uh, just non sequiturs. Yeah, like where and, are you right now? Like, yeah, yeah, they don't exist. I, uh, um, Peaches. Wiggle room. We love Wait, them. do you do you have a? Is that? It's a wiggle room. What? A is that wiggle yours? Room. Did you, yeah, why he did brought you Google it. Into he this? He's bringing props <laughs> in. Did you, you get that at home? No, it's a dollar store. You know, is this for your kid? Yeah, I was gonna try to figure it out to fascinate him. You know, it's that. It's like that gimmick. You ever see those gimmicks in a tourist area in Europe? 
where you want to buy the dancing thing on the rope and it's just a scam because it's on a, a well, it's, it's just this? fish it's just um fishing wire it's, uh, i want to introduce my kid to magic so he could become well, like what is David this thing? You put on a pencil you it's invisible you see that you unwind the invisible twine there on twine? the piece of paper at the end on the other end okay what's this and you do magic tricks with it because it's, it's a fishing wire floss. you can't see it so you can oh, shake it around. So it looks like it looks it's moving. like it's moving by itself, but it's really hidden fish and wire. Oh, okay. Now you just gave They've away. They've been around the... for centuries. People uh, with turbans on years ago would uh, they would come out of baskets while playing a flute. People with turbans <laughs> on now <laughs> fucking snake, crash planes yeah. at the towers. That's not funny. <laughs> <laughs> to be honest, I, I, I zoned out. I was I'm watching this. Yes, because my ADHD makes me hyper focused on yeah, yeah, yeah. things that look like dick. This is for all the audio <laughs> listeners who like, are wait, not what watching. What dick have you been fucking? Uh, I'm, I'm, I, I would get tested if that I'm looks like a dick. I'm feeling uncomfortable. It's just a bright red. Is yeah. it? It's making me <laughs> uncomfortable that you women say stuff like that about dick and shit like that. Wait, wait what makes me? What? What? Well, it is what? aggressive. Wait, what? What would make? Wait, what was your question? I don't get really. He's, he, no, he's a he's offended by by me. Bro, if your about, kid can't oh, see this rope, she can say whatever she wants. No, I'm not. I, 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 <laughs> he was dude, making a joke. Uh, <laughs> if your kid can't see this rope, get him tested. It's like the other night we were all like, yeah. Think, apparently, it's supposed. To, that's the gimmick. That's the thing. Bro, if you, no joke. If your kid, I, I'm very invested in what you're if, saying. If oh, your kid yes. is distracted and can't tell that that's a rope, get him tested, bro. I don't know. Whatever. Let's let's. There's let's, there's like a there's, there's a way. I'm a, gonna Google way it. To it. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I'm no. I'm gonna check the Encyclopedia Britannica. I thought it was candy. Of course, Poseidon candy. always <laughs> thinks it's candy. So you I know what Poseidon did once. All right, you know uh, when you're at a, a party and they have uh, the helium balloons, yes. a lot of them uh, uh, at the center of the table? You know that base, that heavy base that's holding it, them down? Yeah, yeah. It's usually shaped like a Hershey's kiss. Oh, God. Oh, okay. okay. Right? This that's, bag of sand? It, so it's, got, it's, it's exactly the shape of a giant Hershey's kiss wrapped in aluminum foil. But there were no balloons on it, so Poseidon was at work, and he instantly ran over to it and said, Ooh, someone brought chocolate. But there was no chocolate Someone there, so he was very, chocolate. very eat it. fat shamed himself. He fat shamed himself. It's okay. Do you have a sweet right. tooth, Poseidon? Oh yeah. What's your favorite dessert? Bread. I do. He's not gonna pick. It's too hard to pick. It's too hard. It's like, like trying to ask who's your favorite vanilla. kid. My, my brain went into meltdown just now. <laughs> <laughs> I want all of them inside me. <laughs> um, well, it's ice cream season, so. I you, you know what? I yeah. What I cone I really ice. enjoy, and there's not a lot of sugar in it. And I went there recently. So fat. I went all the way there just for this, but it was closed for renovation. IKEA's ice cream cone. It's oh, what? Yeah. It's, it's, it's made of cheap. yogurt. Yeah, yeah. It's made of yogurt. It is fantastic. It it's better than the McDonald's. I one. hate I IKEA. I drove all the way there. No, but you don't walk into the maze. Just go to the, the food the part. Cruise. I hate everyone in there, and oh no, my no. god, you're gonna taste. You that know what I don't like about IKEA? I have to say, you you do seem like someone who would be out of place at IKEA. I was outraged. If I saw you there, I would be like, what the I took my nephew there a few weeks ago. He wanted a desk for his computer, or whatever. He goes, oh. "Can you take me?" So I'm like, "Yeah, let's go." So we go there, and I was telling him, "I'm warning you, <laughs> I'm gonna be angry." You're going to be angry. Everyone's retarded. The arrows where, on the floor. Where do you and, recommend going? Like, I just got an apartment. I gave all my furniture away when I moved to LA a couple of a few years back. Yeah. Where do you get f uh, cheap furniture if Ikea, <laughs> if you don't like place. Ikea? Ask the guys at I, the I, nice garbage place. They oh, don't. shit. No, no. Facebook Marketplace. <laughs> I, yeah, Facebook Marketplace. Yeah. Or I, I do recommend Ikea for that stuff, but I'm saying I don't like being there because okay. here's what I don't like. It should be uh, a store where you go, you get a desk, and you leave. Mm -hmm. But these fucking retards you have to go through a maze. turn it into a family trip. Yeah. So they decide, yeah. kids. It's an excursion. People go on dates to Ikea. Yes, and it yeah. bugs me. I'm walking around. They force you in rooms you don't want to be in. Ever since 500 Days of yeah. Summer, people oh, have shit. been going yeah. on I like that. Yeah. It's like, bro, go home. Yeah. Go home, take her out to a restaurant. What are you doing? It's also weird. Like, hey. It's just like, let's be domestic together. Like, Do you even know each other that well? Like, yeah, the other thing is taking photos. I remember in the, when I was with him, they were taking photos. This girl was taking photos in the fake kitchen. Like it's her kitchen. Like a oh, thing. wow. And I was like, that's so is funny. this bitch serious right now? This is crazy. This is lunatic shit. I'm like, well, oh, bitch. She wants to make it look like it's her kitchen. Yeah, why? It's not your kitchen. If I was stupid rich... I would actually walk in there and say, "Give me this, just to you see." Would, you would no. shop at IKEA. No, 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 no. Just <laughs> because that's how we got rich. I want, the, I, want <laughs> yeah. the, I want the satisfaction of. You always buy it. You buy a, a was. What, sorry, did I did I deviate? No, no. no I'm, I'm giving an example of you walking. You're like, 
This is all mine. I want. Oh yeah, that's funny. Yeah, because you always buy the one dresser, but it doesn't go with the furniture yeah, you have. Yeah. Here's uh, my grandmother's, you know, couch and a Krugenfrisch. Yeah. It mm. doesn't. So I want the whole, the whole thing. Yeah. So but you I don't w- want staging furniture from IKEA. No. Just oh, hire whatever. someone and they'll yeah. do hire. It for you. Yeah. Uh, my butler. Yeah. Jeeves. Have the room prepared. If you were rich enough to have a butler, would you want a butler? No. Me neither. It's I weird. would want a Latina I don't want a house maid. slave. It's fucking strange. It hey, Guido, odd. he not here. Mr. Guido, not here. So would you, would you just do your woman? own chore? Like, if you're rich? Yeah, you, like, because yeah. it's, I don't know. Do what are you talking about? Make my mother do I it, bro. I'm It's just, just so weird. Yeah, I would, yeah. I would clean for the person before they got there, and then... Spend the entire time apologizing and being like, "Are you sure I can do that?" I would, I couldn't. What about a little weird I, 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 I need an assistant. Assist. Soon I'm gonna get an assistant. I would get my yes. house clean, and I need an ass. I would love an assistant. The day I can get yeah. an assistant, woo, I'm like, very. Do you do you need a house clean? I'm very good at cleaning. I'm an assistant. I, 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 we covered this on the last time I was on the podcast, but I, 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 the sublet I was in was I. I can she get, developed housewife yeah, skills. Yeah, I mean, if I yeah. lived here, I would. I'm like, I'll come every two weeks. Where do you live? I live in Toronto. Patrick Hakeem. I she do. Knows I, him. I know him. She knows him. I like he him. was part of. Yep. He's great. Patrick is my oldest friend. He was. Uh, Patrick, he, Patrick, will, your you Patrick Hakeem will not admit five to five years old. He wow. was very nice to me. We went. To, uh, he told me to come to the corner. He kind of like introduced. Like, he was great. Go he, to the corner. He, he sounds nobody like a puts Montreal baby in the corner. Italian guy. <laughs> I actually want to be put in the corner. That'd be great. It's a great by, club by Patrick yeah. Swayze. By Patrick Akeem. No, I'm just kidding. Hey. By Patrick Swayze. Hey. By Patrick Swayze, yes. Jen Sakato. No, no, no. But uh, yeah, but he was uh, very nice. Very nice. Yeah, Patrick's good people. He's all right. Did you, so you guys grew up together. Did you yeah. both know you were going to be comics like yes. back in the day? Okay. We, we used to giggle with each other on the phone at 10 years old. We also had no kind of curfew and would watch Letterman, Johnny Carson, uh, uh, a variety yeah. of different he uh, had the, the underground TV yeah, like third, third grade I was on to Conan yeah. like I, yeah. an hour we later and, yeah. That's, yeah. Yeah. wild that's yeah. wild I yeah. only started listening to, I my my dad is really into stand-up comedy and my dad used to love like the old SNL so we would watch yeah. those yeah. Um, and then like my family always had like a good sense of humor but I only got into comedy I think when I was like about 18 I started listening to like the New York comics that were up and coming and yeah. stuff I, I used to love guy code or girl code and girl code who had like all these like comics, comics now yeah, that, that are doing. humongous. Schultz, like, Schultz was on, was that on it. Yeah. Stefano was on it. A bunch of girls were on it. Chris Carly Schultz, another good dude. You, yeah, yeah, People yeah, get yeah. offended sometimes. He's another fucking great dude. Yeah. Uh, off. Uh, yeah, like, yeah, yeah. That, it's what you guys were saying. Yeah. yeah. Anybody I you hear them talking too much shit about? Yeah, him, a lot of it is perform- money like to people a who seem person. good. It's performative. Yeah, right? that's yeah. what I've noticed. Yeah. The ones that seem too good, they're kind of weird. It's, it's everyone I met that's like me. They talk about the same stuff as like me. The they're normally personal, awesome off stage. It's like the interpersonal equivalent of when a bank puts up a, a pride flag during like in yes. June. It's like it, I mean that's good. You, we shouldn't be homophobic, but do you think the bank actually gives a shit about anybody? No, that's why I hate Pride Month. I think it's the dumbest thing ever. It's so. I, I need gay people to get up one day and be like, oh, really? Yeah, you're so, how about you fucking uh, don't charge fees during this to gay yeah, or something? Yeah. Don't like, put up the like, fire. Like, I think or, it's become such a celebration yeah. of like, of of being gay and proud and whatever. And I think, I think well, we're I not- Well, I think the actual month a, is fine. Yeah, 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 like yeah the Norm MacDonald joke about that. that. <laughs> what's, what's I hate, you know what I hate? I hate the- My son, the corporate- Corporatization a, of it. Yeah, he's a law student. I don't like student. that because yeah, it's a, fake. He's a lawyer. He graduated from Harvard. Yeah, but and also, you know how I know it's fake. Suck this cock, and you pull. Yeah, <laughs> you know how I know it's so fake because you see the meme happens every year yeah. where you see they change their logos. They put all these rainbow colors because the gays they own the rainbow. How long uh, have they in North the America rainbow? and Europe? But the second it's to their Arab uh, countries, they don't change their logo during the month. They're like we're not going to piss them off. So you don't. If you cared really yeah. about the cause or whatever the yeah. fuck it is, you do whatever. You'd be like, this is what I believe in, but you don't believe in it. Well, you do it because you think it makes you. Look nice. yeah. right. They they virtue signal. That's, yeah, I that's, hate that shit. That, or you, I want to the real you. Blow a guy. But I know Nike. What do you? You have s- slave labor. Obviously, yeah. you don't give a shit about gay people yeah. or straight people or white people or black people. You don't care. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. You care I know. So don't fake it. Mm-hmm. Corporate yeah. America. I think yeah. it's like the more people get on board, though, then the more it becomes normalized, yes. and then everyone's like, "Oh yeah, cool." Like, yeah. it's no big deal. I think deal. the outcome. I think so, there's positive things that happen because of it. I just think the intention behind it. For sure, there's yeah. no like integrity. But if you're th- if you're out here thinking a bank has integrity, there's something wrong with it. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. <they're a> <laughs> <laughs> you mentioned Stonewall. Isn't that where the whole gay thing started? Oh, the Stonewall Inn in New York. Yes. Yeah, yeah. You see, there was no gays before that. No, you think? The, the 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 police raided. 
a, a, a bar or a gay yeah, bar? Like the West a Village. Uh, yeah, it, yeah, yeah, it's not it's not far from the cellar. Stone they wall. raided a bathhouse. Yeah. So, Poseidon, like Stonewall Street, maybe. Type yeah. in, for, type for in for gay what? Stonewall. Stonewall. Re- Stonewall. Real in police officers New or York strippers? City. Here, uh, 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 I think yeah. What Stonewall riots. A riot. Okay. Oh, there it's it a is. riot. Yeah. Uh, the Stonewall riots, also known as the Stonewall Uprising, Stone Rebellion, or simply Stonewall, were a series of spontaneous protests by members of the gay community in response to the police raid that began in the early morning of June 28, 1969. Mm. The Stonewall Ill of Greenwich Village in. neighborhood. <laughs> Yeah. Not yeah. Ill. Ill. yeah that's <laughs> oh, interesting. Why yeah. is it called Stonewall? Because it, uh, it's uh, that's called the name, Stonewall that's because the name of, of what, like the, what, the bar, the You mentioned it before, oh, okay. Stonewall. Stonewall. Whatever. No, that was Michelle was talking about the word Stonewalling. Stonewalling. That's yeah. where it came yeah. from. Yeah. Now I'm like, why did we. But, no, that's yeah. not where it came from. I know. No. I'm trying to sound I smart. <laughs> I uh, hope it's not where it came no, from. No, it did not. Anyway. Yeah. So, but wait, so gay people were upset that. The, the, they were raided. 1969. I think they were raided and there was like just random violence against them. They actually made a movie I mean, called Stonewall you, in Montreal you, a about this. Raid, oh, people okay. are and it was a shitty movie. They pushed around. Did it, anyone die? There's got to be a reason. Like, don't look for the bright side of every story. Some of them just don't have any. <laughs> yeah. Um, anyway. Yeah, I bet you. <laughs> for I get it. I bet you what happened was yeah. They, no, they, June six. Is that why June? That's why June is Pride Month. I don't know. I, I don't believe know. so. Mm. It makes sense. That makes sense. And the yeah. And the yeah. riots are like June twenty eighth because isn't it normally the end of June? When it when depends like on the prize. city, the last, like New York, I New think York they, do, the last they do. They do like the last Sunday, Sunday in of June. June. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And I then in Montreal, that. we do it in August. Yeah, for some but reason. I think what does it matter? Yeah, I think Toronto was always like end of June as well. Toronto does June. Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. Oh yeah, Trudeau walking in Toronto during the parade, sweating. Yeah. <laughs> I remember that, and I jacked up. Mm-hmm. Jesus Christ, it's not funny. <laughs> you should come by Comfort Zone. You'll fit right in. I have. I, I don't about. now because I'm in a kitchen. So Otherwise, wait, what happened? Uh, so essentially, me, they I went. They beat place. up gay people. Yeah. Yeah. And then yeah, the gay people have to. You can't let them. You can't let these cops beat the shit out of you. You got to protest that shit. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, oh, just reminded me. Yeah. While I was in a treatment center. Yeah. Uh, I met the guy. So much dick. Uh, <laughs> no, no, but it's yeah. treatment was yeah. actually. It was just a shower. <laughs> you know, cock shower of cum. It's a great uh, treatment. Yeah. Uh, I saw this guy uh, I really who looked becoming like she, a, I'm rubbing off on her. <laughs> he looks like gonna be dropping n bombs. Yeah. Like, no, no, I will never. <laughs> this guy was jacked. <laughs> what happened? What happened? Sorry, okay. sorry. This, okay. this guy was jacked with a beard. He looked like a scary Arab, but jacked like I'm talking bodybuilder Schwarzenegger. I believe jacked. you. Uh, this guy, former RCMP officer, who uh, w- uh, was um, uh, sexually harassed because he's gay, and he has his like uh, you know he, he's engaged. what kind of harassment? Because I only and learned he, this week that people call anything harassment, so I want to know. He got he makes he take he gets money he gets paid from it and he's traumatized. Okay, so don't answer his, my question. Pretend what, I didn't what ask kind it. of harassment? Yeah, what happened? He gets to him? paid for the harassment. Um, yeah, that's what you but said. I asked you what kind of harassment so you said he gets paid for. He was sexually he harassed verbally and physically by his superior, who was a closeted gay man. Okay, so like legit, like being legit like, hey, ass, I, we're around the offices, yeah, you got a fat sounds, cock. Yeah, that's like that. literally that. Yeah. Yeah, you remember that, that video? Believable. That was the best video. You remember the sexual <laughs> harassment in, in the workplace? That right. was my favorite YouTube video oh, for years. It was like the kind of shit they show in school. Yeah, Reefer yeah, yeah. Reefer madness. Yeah, it was like that. Uh, and then uh, they have a guy, He, the, the girl was the funniest. She walks in, this other girl walks in the room, she's like, Smells like fresh vagina in here. And she's like, Does she are, really you, say are you that's talking about my vagina? Maybe. Oh, <laughs> you know that's great. I mean, you know it's not. I have never Word around the before. offices, you've got a fat cock. And then the guy's like, uh, 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 yeah. Is it like, it's a parody on like the No, it meant, was meant to be harassment. serious. It's, it's serious, okay. Uh, to me, it's no, a parody. No, it's not. Supp- yeah, there it is. Like, yeah. Sexual yeah. harassment. All right. Let's watch no, this, baby. This watch. is my favorite video ever made. Oh, you could tell from the font when it- I love it. This is like 88. You hear about sexual harassment. Make it on TV big. It was on e-bombs. It was hilarious. By the, way, the videos they still look like this. I had to watch a bunch of them at my old workplace. Sign, let's check this out. As an oh, employee, is... what do you need to know about it? First, sexual harassment is against the law. It's illegal. And it's against your company's policy. <laughs> More importantly, it's so against what our is policy. What is it though? Oh come on. Linda, you are doing a fine job here. Oh well, thank you, Steve. But you know, you might try dressing a little sexier at work. I'm sorry. I mean, they start soft. Your job here. That's what I was telling you guys. <laughs> also, it's there like they're working cubicles. Harassment. What would be the point of dressing wow. sexy? It could be physical. You really can't today, Nancy. Ow, Bill. Sorry. 
You look really uh, tense. It never happens like this. No, I really way. don't like it when you do that. Can you please stop? <laughs> so creepy. I'm like, I would, I'll take a, like, arm, like a <laughs> shoulder a, massage. Oh like, you just said, yeah, why I'll can't never I get stop sexually it. harassed never. like this? Get a free massage. I'll never stop. Oh, listen to this. Word around the offices, you've got a fat cock. <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> Dude. What? I've got a fat cock, too. <laughs> Maybe we should rub our fat cocks together. <laughs> Maybe a little oil. That's this has been edited. Also, look, at look at the black guy's face. Look at the black. Yeah, not how you this, have this, gay this, this is a parody. But look at that guy's face. Visual yes, anyone. <laughs> such as derogatory posters, cartoons, or drawings. Nah, <laughs> 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 look at the dick. <laughs> there's been dicks in books forever. Look, between a manager and a subordinate. A power struggle. Oh, so they knew what it was even. I could go for a power fuck right now. Oh, that's so. Change is slow, and oh, what oh, was oh. acceptable in common behavior years ago can now be sexual harassment. It smells like vagina in here. <laughs> Excuse me? It smells like fresh vagina in here. Are you talking about my vagina? Maybe. <laughs> Everyone it's wants so to be treated stupid. fairly and with respect. Oh my god. Yeah, this is my favorite video for years. Every time talking about the you, harassment. That's a good one. So you wanna know what's funny is every time it's I would start a new job in an office or whatever and I have a team to manage, I would show them the video, I'd be like, listen guys, girls, I don't want any fucking harassment. We're gonna watch a goddamn video. Oh yeah. And, and I used to show this and be oh. like, No, this stuff this stuff's not gonna fly under my watch. <laughs> that's insane. Damn. Oh fuck. I used to have a lot of fun. Poseidon, that, I hear you have a fat cock. So back in the day, this was comedy. This was yeah. acceptable. Uh, I, I was showing Mike these videos because there was this, and then there was another one. Uh, there was a real commercial. Do you remember the commercial Poseidon show that was a an actual commercial of the the hot coffee? Huh? Where I showed it on, on two it drink spills? minimum, and Mike lost his shit. Google, it's a Canadian. No, no, go to YouTube. It's a Canadian commercial from back in the day. Participation. No, no, it was a Canadian. You got to shut up while I'm talking. I'm sorry. It was a Canadian commercial. <laughs> About uh, type in a domestic abuse hot coffee. Oh, I think I've seen this. Uh, you, he's I, on the show. I just told you you've seen <laughs> it. <laughs> he's on two drink minutes. I love it. Oh, good. I love it. I think I'll say this. Oh, that's, that's, oh, it, yeah, that's it. That's it. That's it. The she PSA. Yeah. You, you don't understand. Bring this up, bro. This is insane. Put it from the beginning. Put it from the beginning. Weird. You're doing a real good job on your picture. You're doing a real good job on your picture. Yeah. Please. Oh, shoot. She spilled my coffee. I'm sorry, sir. You fucking bitch. How do you like that? Oh, so violent. You wouldn't get away with it here. You shouldn't get away with it at home. How crazy is that? Yeah. Yeah, you wouldn't be allowed. You need like you should get away with it at home. Yeah. You wouldn't be allowed to air that commercial. I'm not gonna lie. That wasn't. That was weird. But 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 you wouldn't be. No, you can't air that commercial now. But it kind of. That's a real one. That's not even comedy. But but the fact that it was the end message. That's it. It all worked out. It makes. Yeah. At first, I'm like, what am I watching? It was absurd in public. So, which means it's absurd at home. So it's not bad. No, no, no I no, like no. the message. What, the, 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 the message yeah. is great, yeah. but if you don't know, you're watching like a domestic you abuse no idea what's commercial. Yeah. That's like a it's lot a porno. to watch. Like he pours hot coffee on her. That's yeah. insane. But I like the message of you wouldn't be like you yeah. know that this is not acceptable. Yeah. So why don't you call people, in? People be beating is, their yeah. wives. Is there yeah. racist ones? Still doing it. Although I've seen racist ones too. The racist ones are hilarious, and they're not trying to. But because it, it instead of help. showing real racism. Like yes. this showed real abuse, but yes. in, in a they show fake racism, yeah. which to me was always like, have you never Seen met real a black person? <laughs> yeah. Like it, it's like these people get together, they've never met anyone yeah. that's not of their origin, and yeah. they write what it's like, and it's so ludicrous. You're yeah. like, this yeah. is it's, fucking well, retarded. Like, at my old job, like there was like these groups. They would have like groups for like Latina women, and then like black women, and they would have all these like groups, and you could be part of them if if you know whatever. And then I had a friend who went to one because she was Latina, and she was like, "This is insane. It's just run by white women." Yeah, yeah. Oh, she was that's like, so "Why funny. would why I go to? Uh, why would I go to like?" a you know li like like let's help like diversity group when it's run by white women it's the kind of the same thing the people that wrote the racism never probably experienced right. racism yeah. themselves. it's the same thing with the power struggle by the way that's not how it happens no one looks at you and goes i need a power fuck like that's yeah. literally was, not i said that to people. motivate you 
That's why I said in yeah. our meeting, I said yeah. to motivate you. I was, I was not, but do you remember, I don't know if you guys had this in high school, or it was, I don't remember if it was elementary or high school, but they, they were showing you like, you know, you got to get along with other people. They were, tr they had good stuff, like, you know, people all the same. But they had a thing which shows this is you. You know, your neighbor might be black, but the neighbor was dressed like an African with a bone thing in oh, it. Oh, yeah, yeah. And like, I, come I, out. I, yeah, and it I remember. being more racist than yeah, anything else. Yeah. But I remember being young and being like, are you mental? No one, yeah. no one's walking around in Montreal with bone, a it's giant, an, yeah. this is crazy. Yeah. Yeah. It's, it's like rich white people who grew up, especially in the US, you, you see how segregated it is yeah. by yeah. like social, like race and yeah. social status. Yeah. So like yeah. the rich yeah. white neighborhoods yeah. are especially like 97%. What, there's yeah. more Hispanic people in LA than there are white people. Yeah. And Vatos I pretty much life. only saw white people unless I'm at the comedy club. Like it yeah. was, yeah, it was almost uncomfortable, like, and and so I feel like there. It's, it's you were the, uncomfortable the, around Mexicans. No, I was uncomfortable around the fact that I'm like, why is it only white people well, don't here? Don't be this racist. Is... The whites are allowed to laugh too. <laughs> they don't. That's the thing. It's the people <laughs> who get offended by jokes too, or like the, mm -hmm. are often, white ladies. Yeah, they're white and they grew up I with had a lot of money, and so they like the problem. I had the an only offended white lady at my they've, show. They've interacted like they they didn't grow up around like different like yeah. races or people are scared and, of things and that are different. And they're scared. Yeah. They don't, and they they probably on some implicit level think they're better and they feel guilty about that and yeah, then, so the, it's and white it, guilty yeah. and it's like you you've never just like be friends with a person have a conversation with somebody just yeah. like get out of your house oh because you just you know it's like they're hired help is the only time they've interacted with like a hispanic person but that like you walk up in the hollywood hills and that's if you see somebody who isn't white they're what? working on the house like that is true <laughs> yeah i'm not saying it's uh, good usually there do you are remember, armenian as well right do armenians you, are everywhere now. do you remember ozzy osbourne's daughter uh, when she it was his daughter uh, who, or his wife that was on I think it was his daughter that was on the View, talking. Okay, and they go Donald Trump is a, is a racist or whatever. Was talking, and then he goes for all you people you don't want Mexicans in the country. If there was no Mexicans, who would clean your toilets? Oh. Who and she's yeah. just she saying she was being all the yeah. demeanor, and then yeah. everyone's like, yeah. whoa, oh. they don't just clean. Whoa, 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 and then she's oh. like, what? There's, and then there's after other commercial jobs, there's other, after the commercial breaks, like, look, I'm sorry, <laughs> but the ones that I know <laughs> are cleaning <laughs> shit. She like, thought she was being honorable. Oh, so stupid. There's yeah. a comic in Montreal who has a great joke. His name is Randy Comey. He has a great joke about how he was like in his like feminism class. And then like all these women are like, we need to fight back against the patriarchy. And he's like, no, I totally like I agree. But like for me, he's like, I don't know how I'm going to do it. But for you, just stop talking to your grandfather. Like, oh, it's yeah. Yeah. <laughs> doing it. yeah. I mean, I butchered the joke. It's much yeah. funnier when he no, does but it. I get but the, you know, I get it's like the concept that. Yeah. And, and, and we are guilty of that white women for sure. Are you know, who's that. that guy? There was a fake feminist comedian guy that got they're called all, out. They're all there's Pat so, so many. They're there. all fake, bro. Yeah. Yeah. If they come well, out like that, they're fake. Like, in no, like, like uh, in, the, in the yeah. LA uh, yeah. scene, yeah. There was they're, they're all fake. The real there's, ones treat everyone equal. The second someone gets up and goes, "Yeah, the, yeah. I'm gonna fight for women," I'm like, no, no, no. If you're not fighting for everyone, yeah, you're hiding something. You're fucking around. It's a little suspicious. Yeah, it's very suspicious. The second I'm a feminist, bro, you're a dude just to get laid. Yeah, but yeah, but that's why there's still an angle. They have an angle. That's why I. Only like the people that are like me. The people that are like, no, no, everyone. I don't give a fuck what you are. I'm gonna fight for. You. I'm not gonna. Yeah. Be like, the women aren't getting enough. The black people aren't getting enough. No, no, that's fucking weird to me. Just fucking be cool with everyone, and whoever yeah. deserves it gets it. That's it. Don't be fucking weird. There's something you're hiding. I don't mm -hmm. like that shit. I'm always. Uh, it's like same thing with super religious people. I'm weary of them. It's funny when you well, went like yeah, this before. The ones that are out, are you like something cool? Yeah, yeah. I'm, I I'm, thought I'm you weary. were referring to the Orthodox Jewish ringlets. Oh wait, wait. You went, she went like this before. I went like that. The bada bops. Okay. I don't know. Is that what they're called? Um, That's what they're called. Bada bops, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh God. <laughs> what? Imagine I, like, next time I'm like, yeah, bada bop. Oh, they are. They're the bada bops. Ask uh, Josh. Th this stuff, the bada bops. Okay. Oh, I yeah. thought that Not was. Not the actual people. The people are called Hasid. Oh, it's really called no, the bada bop. The bada bops, yeah. I thought it was like Poseidon making a, a joke about. No, that's why Poseidon likes saying it because oh. bada bops is a fun word. Oh, okay. So, so it is you the could real say bada bops. But the not for them. They're Hasids. These no, are the bada bops. I know that. that <laughs> this I is that a yamaka or a kippa. Yeah. Yeah. But oh, I meant I, the actual yeah. curls. I didn't yeah, realize that was bada bops. When I was institutionalized okay. in a hospital this time, <laughs> another time, uh, I befriended a uh, an Orthodox <laughs> Jewish girl. Okay. Oh. Uh, Fascinating. That was when I was uh, misgiven lithium. Uh, misdiagnosed. Mis yeah, because they thought I was bipolar and shit. Turns out I was just drinking an asshole. And, uh, alcohol and mixing it with uh, <laughs> yeah. prescription medication. You're just a degenerate. Being an asshole. But she was really nice, orthodox girl. And I guess we found each other because we were the most seemingly uh, most normal-ish type of people there. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, and uh, I'd never spoken to uh, an orthodox Jewish woman on an extended period of time. He avoids eye contact uh, with women. She was 30 
she just had her fifth kid. Wow. Brag. Yeah. 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 Mm-hmm. And, uh, uh, but she was, uh, she had her, like, I said, what did you do with the celebrities? And she goes, we have our own celebrities. We watch our own YouTube yeah, channels. It's their own, like, their own really, little thing. Yeah. yeah. She goes, uh, w- uh, it's all about family. I like it. hang out with each other all the time. Uh, a family also, you know, sister-in-law's brother. They go to love from it. New York. All that. That's why every yeah, time yeah. you fly you on can travel, travel, bus, family. You can take always, a, there's the a, only shitty there's thing is that your baby. family's Jewish. Yeah. But the rest, uh, bro, there's like is a, fucking... There's like a Williamsburg to yeah. Mile yeah, End yeah, yeah, bus yeah, yeah. for the... Yeah, yeah, for the I, order. And they all work at B&H Camera, apparently. Yeah, oh, bro. <laughs> can we just say something? B&H I'm going to continue great. joking about Jews in a second. But B&H is on. But let us pray to the gods that B&H exists and those lovely, lovely Hasids that run B&H the greatest anything on a trolley comes the out. greatest yeah fucking um that's the gem of new york city but what's bnh yeah i don't B&H. know near, it's near penn station 34th street madison square garden it's right behind okay. and i order so, so much all so, this equipment all this equipment all mm. this equipment the ah. roadcasters the cameras the ca- whatever the fuck you want they have interesting first Better than Sweetwater because I fuck with uh, Sweetwater. Cl- Sweetwater People from around the world. Sweetwater group. has a lot of stuff yeah. too, but B and H has it first. They get normally a lot of the, the workers breakdowns. come in on a yellow school bus. Yeah, just right in the middle of my That's sentence. Just come Sorry, right I in just there. meant to say that. So they have the the breakdowns first, also. So there's new equipment that comes out, and you're not too sure what the features are, like mm-hmm. from road or whatever. B and H will get it first. They're fucking awesome. You can call them. You can ask questions. Their the delivery is top notch. They never fuck you over, uh, and they're closed on Saturdays because they're Jewish. Oh yeah, they're fucking awesome. But and love it's, VNH, love those guys. It's as big as like a, a, a Walmart or something. It's no, it's massive. It's that, it, but they they ship it. I buy it and yeah. they ship it here to Montreal. Well, they're oiled amazing. Machine. Is Very. it like good competitive prices? Absolutely. It's like the Zohan. You know, these they are have, Sony gods. Yeah. Sony gods. Now that. the thing is, all those items they always have sales and stuff, but they're they're never going to be more expensive than anywhere else. Yeah. And sometimes they have sales which they're cheaper than anywhere else, and these are high end items. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. They, they're. An amazing company. They know what they're doing. I, I fucking love B&H, bro. I go crazy for them. I saw them when we went. When we were in no- November. Yeah, we're in New York. Yeah. We're going Sponsored. to the NHL stores. I could buy shit. Mm-hmm. And uh, I was like a little kid. I was like, B&H. I was all excited. And I was telling Poseidon, but I didn't I want to go def- inside. It's I would sounded- definitely get excited like that. Like yeah. I, when I started podcasting, like I got so obsessed with like sound quality and like everything. And you just, uh, the more you learn, the more you like know and want stuff. Oh. There's so much stuff I want. I, I have everything. Like when it's like a, 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 a clearly a, 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 a very, you know, well, uh, ugh, diarrhea voice. When it's a podcast with a celebrity that seems to have money, but the equipment is shitty. It bothers me. Oh, yeah. I know the Zoom well. stuff. Yeah, I don't. I hate. I'm watching CTV news. They're talking about the war in Ukraine. The guys on Skype, like frozen. Like, I have on. better, but it's very hard. The, the information out there is so like, yeah. there's so much information that's misleading. Like really, you just like, and it took me two years to figure it out. You just like need a mixer. Yeah, and you yeah. need a good microphone and some XLR cables, and you're good. The if, number one thing for podcasts, and I've told you, and hopefully you remember, the number one thing is audio. Yeah, yeah. Audio but a lot of them have quality. these shitty microphones. Yeah. You hit like this. Yeah, no, no. And yeah. no matter how good the video is, even if it's 8K, yeah. if the audio is shit, the human brain cannot continue listening. No. It'll, yeah, stop. it'll no. stop. Audio yeah, it'll first stop. and then video. Yeah. And and don't buy your stuff at the uh, pharmacy. Well, it depends. You could start off at the pharmacy. Yeah, like when I f- my first podcast, 2010, the 4-H podcast, when we started that, one of the first uh, podcasts in Quebec, um, it was in Homer and Alex's basement. I had bought a Logitech microphone that was shit for one person, and yeah. we were five guys around it. So the huh. audio was garbage. And then, you yeah. know, the years went, I learned. and yeah. Same, like with Human Raccoons, it was like it started and it was so bad. And then it, we just kept getting, it got a little bit better, but then still bad. And then finally I figured it out when I figured out that you just need to buy a fucking mixer yeah. and some good microphones. This is that's a mixer. It. Yeah. But a lot of people do it through the Zoom because online, that's what it says. It's like, oh, you need to start a podcast. Right. It's just one Zoom and then like it'll just, like it'll it just, pick up everything. I, I would it's argue like, people. That's not, yeah, they would it's ask not me for the way advice. I'd give it to them and they'd be like, but I read here and I go, look, you're going to save $200 today. You're gonna realize it's shit, and yeah. then you're gonna spend another. You're another. gonna end up going over because yep. you spent so much money yep. on shitty equipment. I think I spent a thousand dollars on sound equipment. I have a whole box at home of sound equipment that I don't use anymore because it was yeah. shit. But I, no, it just bothers me when I see like you are a journalist for the Wall Street Journal. That it does bother you're, me. You're you're answering a question about the you know very <laughs> important to the world. Yeah. Why is it only comedians buy nice equipment? You no, work no, for the Wall Street sound Journal. Sound is very, Why are you very on the news? niche and difficult. It's, uh, it's pixelated very, it's, right it's a good skill to have. Yeah, it's, 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 it's a, niche. They should be better. They can literally just buy a wireless yeah. Go, connect it to yeah. their cell phone, right. 
Yeah. And the audio is going to be amazing compared to what they're using. Now, yeah. I agree with you. I I see you, you probably news. don't learn this stuff in journalism school, right? No, so but, like, no that, they don't. But the actual, let's say Fox out. News, for example. You're Fox News. Well, you Obviously, it's not real news. It's yeah, Fox yeah, yeah. But it's the same thing. Fucking CNN. It's, they're all... Well, not, not not the real it on no, no, but I mean, they mic. all do the same thing, whether yeah. it's CNN or Fox. They're so fake that even the journalists, when they're on the street or whatever, a lot of times, they have shitty equipment. And you're like, you know you could spend $150 and this guy's going to sound like a podcast, like pristine. Yeah. And they don't do it. Yeah. Tucker no, Carlson, they're, they're, he's too, busy, in 4K. they're too busy telling yeah. your employees in to wear studio, skirts. He's in 4K, but the <laughs> yeah. correspondent Dude, is not. Tucker Carlson, uh, starting a new show mm. only on Twitter. That's Video streaming on Twitter. Very cool. wow. Okay. Yeah. That, that, but his most of people that watch him will tweet. To tweet tweeters, there are a lot Do less they, than I, I feel, thought. I, I feel it like, because I, I I don't really follow Tucker Carlson, but in uh, wouldn't he be more like the Facebook like in the U.S. I feel like a Facebook older, is more maybe, yeah. older, older conservative. Where Twitter that's uh, a Bill O'Reilly gang. I think Twitter young, seems more young woke. Yeah. Le, like, I think he wants he, people to like engage, and if they're already Twitter fans, yeah. oh, and he has got, a Twitter following. Okay. He knows that people will like talk about it and stuff. It's a very specific type of person who's like tweeting all all the, all time. the time. But yeah. also, it's a very yeah. specific yeah. idea to have a show yeah. like an hour long yeah. show on. Twitter. 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 It's, it's no one uh, does it, so he's the only innovative. one. It's, it's an, quite innovative. It's yeah. an accessibility thing. It's like it's it's making things. It's like Patreon. It's like making yeah. things. You have you know a yeah. little bit more. Small. Tucker Carlson has a good head of hair. All right, listen. On that <laughs> note, Sarah Quinn, <laughs> your Quinn. links are in the description. Okay, cool. People yeah. can follow you online, and they're going to see you every week on Comfort Zone. On Comfort's every Wednesday, what eight p.m. Eight p.m. Maybe eight thirty if we can change it. Maybe who the fuck knows. I don't know. I thought it was 8.30. That's why late. Uh, you yeah, yesterday you showed up but, late as fuck. Bro, I thought it was 8.45. I walked in at 8.45. I was like, I loved it though. She walked in like a celebrity. <laughs> Hello. Like, I'm here, yeah. guys. We you can should start do the it. Like, now. come back next week. Like, do it late, just too. Just like, 9.30 like, next week. Yeah. Uh, Mish, your links are also in the description, but I want people to not forget that you have this show coming Spicy up. Spicy Mark Comedy yes. Show. Come. It's going to be great. It's a, an amazing lineup of comics, all like heavy hitters in Montreal. So, And it's happening monthly, so... Come back. If you can't make margarita. it June second. Right. If you can't, uh, yeah, June second. If you can't make it, then come. What next is it called? Month. The Poubelle. The the. It's at Poubelle Magnifique, which is twelve twenty one Crescent Street. What, what time? It starts at eight. Actually, Easy. we're doing two shows, eight and ten. So if you if you're doing dinner, you can come to the ten p.m. If you're you want to see a show before or whatever, before you go get fucked up, come have some spicy margaritas and then and then go get then booked. go on Crescent and mm-hmm. have a great night. And you never know who you'll see in the audience. There could be a, a Guido sighting. It could be yeah, a Pantel sighting. A yeah. Poseidon sighting. You don't fucking know. And we have drop ins all the time, right? Yeah. Uh, Guido Grasso, JR on Instagram, patreon.com slash Pantels. I'm Guido so and Poseidon sorry I talk. have the number one uh, English podcast on the channel, The Intellectuals, my favorite show. Great so show. check that out. Thank you all. Go fuck yourselves. Thanks for having us. Yeah, thank you. Shame and all our faith. We'll make a man.